Good afternoon, folks. Mmm, had a, had a pretty yummy lunch, and I'm ready to start this. The next journey that we go on after getting really far in SevTech, I just think it's time to move on. We, we, we made it to the moon, and we conquered the moon, more or less. So I feel like that was a pretty good stopping point for SevTech. Plus, SevTech just has a lot of like little grindy bits to it that wear down on you after a long enough so i feel like it's a good time to move away from that and maybe we'll come back to subtech maybe we won't but for now we're gonna be starting skyopolis 5 now over the last like week or so i've been play testing it just to make sure like it played fine and it does so far and it's got a different kind of progression loop to it than most other sky based uh packs do most of them are like doing like the sifting thing with gravel or whatever and you don't do that in this one, which is cool. It's different. It uses, like, fluids and water and kind of stuff to process different materials to make different other different materials. Well, you'll see when we get going, but, yeah. So, we're going to be starting that up now. And before that, I'm still fundraising to help my friend Hachiko get back on his feet, get into a better place with his roommates, and to just generally support him because he deserves it. So... Uh, below my stream, I have a place you, a, I can click the GoFundMe image that should link to the GoFundMe. I also have the a chat bot sharing the link in my chat, as well as the Discord invite link, which should still work. And uh, I also have it on my layout on the top bar. So any way you choose to help, I really appreciate you for it. So. All right, let's get let's get going. I I don't think it takes long to open. And, well, I should probably open Spotify, because, yeah, usually I play Spotify stuff while playing Minecraft. But I think this pack might have some more music stuff to it, because Sevtech was 1.12.2, but this is in a 1.18 pack, so the music's a lot more uh, defined, so I might not be playing. We'll see. Maybe this first stream right now we won't play any Spotify. We'll see how things go. Just got to get a sec to load up. As I hear my cat scrambling around behind me in my room. Come on, Scott, please, you can do it. I gave you enough RAM. I showed you my RAM, please respond. <laughs> oh, it encode. Okay, whatever. I think it's because of the pro it was processing stuff. Okay, cool. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you in my laundry basket? Stinky. What are you digging for? Stinky man. Stinky little man. Just like knocked over my laundry basket. I was just trying to dig around in the clothes. <laughs> uh. Okay. This is taking a sec to load up. I mean, this one also has a decent amount of mods in it. Yeah, ignore the new world. That's the one I've, I've put time in. We're gonna make a stream world one, as I as I as I did last as I did with SevTech, and we're not gonna change any other settings because the world generates in a certain way. And like if like if we go to world options, we could probably uh. Hmm. We could do something like this, but we're gonna start on an Oak Island because that's like the default setting the pack is designed around. So we're gonna we'll just uh, do things this way. <clears throat> and let it do its thing. No. If y'all are watching me earlier, be sure to have I hope you've had time to kinda of hydrate and stretch and do all that stuff because I did. I had lunch. Me and my roommate made, made lunch. We usually do. Because we're both um, neurodivergent folks, and it helps us to both do that kind of stuff together. At least that's my view on it. Hello, Ari. Thanks for, going, thanks for coming back. It's nice seeing you. 
It's nice chatting with you. We have we have we tend to have some slightly unhinged ch tweets at uh, times, but that's fu that's the fun of it, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, birds. Fucking birds. All right, so we're we're just flo free flow. Ooh, we actually don't have a lot of uh, islands near us, so that's gonna work out pretty nicely. So first thing we gotta do, uh, do all this crap. We're not gonna accept any of these rewards because, um, like the sky the sky bucks you can use to like buy stuff to kind of accelerate your progress, but that's kind of defeats the purpose of the progress. We do need to click all these little checks, though. It's like telling you how to play, but I know how to do this early stuff. Alright. The basics. Logs. Well, we can hold down the grave key. Oh, look at all the... Hear all the sounds! We can hold down the grave key to hide all the logs here, and then we can just break them and... Hope that we get a sapling. Oh, we got a few. Perfect. Okay. Let's, let's, let's twerk a little bit, get this tree to grow, and we'll get some more stuff. Hopefully. Oh, well, that's okay. We lost a few things over there, but that's fine. We're gonna... Yeah, this, this skin is based off my old uh, version of me that had two eyes. I, can't I haven't really thought of a good way to, like, merge make a new skin of that for my new version yet. I could probably just keep this and then like make the tentacles just all the same color and then just have like one eye instead of two I guess but that's that's a later me problem. Yeah, they want us to do planks next which we'll probably just do that anyway. We don't, we don't have to necessarily do these in any order, but like this gives you like a little roadmap of how to progress a little better. <clears throat> like we'll make some shears, because you can use uh, the leaves to make different stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we'll turn our crafting table to a crafting station. Main advantage of crafting station being that it keep your stuff in there when you start when you go to craft stuff. Like if I do this, it can just leave the planks in there. Just you can use it as like technically a little bit of storage, too. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna turn all of these into slabs, cause yeah, slabs are our, are our first gonna be our first main way to expand our our living area, and we're gonna want. Slower half slabs for that. Let's see. Three, five, seven, nine. I'm trying to count here because I want my platforms to be like 13 wide. What? Like this will be the center of the first one. So one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Okay, so. Looks like, it looks like it's uh, one, two, like four out. So three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Yeah, so it's four outwards from here on each way. Another mo one of the mods in this mod pack, I think it's Quark. Let's where you can like just build out like in in areas like this. It's super super helpful because. I have a fear of heights, so doing the whole like shifting around thing to build like this where you're like on the edge of like just falling off and dying is always makes it a little apprehensive, so this is like a really nice quality of life for me as a scared fuck. <laughs> yeah. Initially we're gonna just wanna like kinda build around this area where the tree is. So that when we grow the tree and break it we get all the stuff from it. Instead of some of it falling off into the abyss. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we got some of this left, and we could probably move this, like, out of the way now that there's, like, more space. <laughs> like, we'll just put it there. It'll be fine. 
<clears throat> Let's see, and then have us doing this stuff. They want us to make a composter so we can make bone meal. <clears throat> the way we do that is we do this, and then we can break the leaves. But we don't have enough trees yet to where I feel super comfortable breaking, scooping up leaves yet. So we're going to break some more trees. <clears throat> see, now most of the stuff lands on our platform here instead of falling off. So we're going to just kind of expand things out a little bit. <clears throat> the other uh, benefit of just this is that we can uh, use the logs we get from just getting trees to make more stuff, like more places, like more, more real estate, you know, because we can just the big importance of doing the bottom slabs is that mobs cannot spawn on bottom slabs like this. So if we were to like run away off somewhere, like we're eventually going to be making a, an area that's away from this so we can spawn like mobs to kill like skeletons or whatever. But for now, we're... <clears throat> well, so it's, it's, it's the magic of Minecraft. See, like we just... We just twerk our, our thick ass next to this tree and it really appreciates the show. Like, uh, 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 just shake your dumpy around and the tree's like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm fine with this. And then it grows and you break it and I would never twerk. I mean, you could do that, but like, <laughs> I have no ass. I have no ass and I must scream. <laughs> <clears throat> And there's, I think there's technical way to force like force spawn bigger trees that I might start doing after we get some of these. Uh, we have like nine saplings, so I'm fine with this next one using this these shears to collect the the leaves because we can use these leaves to make stuff like string or whatever. I think maybe not in that way. We could, can we make like leaf carpet? Huh? Interesting. I guess if you want to decorate with leaves on your floor. I have no ass and I must scream. <laughs> exactly. Egg fucking exactly. Alright, well, let's... We're not going to be able to do anything with the log other than turn them into um, slabs for a while anyway. We're going to need lots of slabs to just make living spaces. Some mods do it to where you can just like smash slabs back together and make planks, so that's kind of nice that this is in this pack here, because it's kind of hard to tell. Matter of fact, we actually need two of those back so we can make some more of these uh, little patterns here because we need we want to make the rest of the um we want to make the rest of the tinkers uh workbenches so we can start making tools tinker tools Let's see i think it's one of these for the uh oh, that's a crafting station I, I have a feeling i'm thinking of the wrong thing so we'll just leave those there. Let's see, I think it's this instead. Uh, part builder, yes. That's the one. And then we need just some planks like this and that and tinker station, which will let us repair the tools that we make, which would be good. And then with part builder, we'll just kind of pop that here for now. And each like dedicated like function that I'll be doing going forward, it's probably gonna have its own like little pl own platform, so that I don't like just have everything on this one place. Cause all this area we can you know it's empty sky, but that's exactly it. Is we can just you know do stuff with it. There's like floating trees. There's like a hot air balloon. There's like some geodes in the sky. A lot of stuff to do. There's also some sky islands every once in a while that you can find. Like, if we press J to look at the map, uh, is that, that's an air balloon. I, uh, I don't really see any, which is weird because the one the map I was playing, doing playtesting for this this last week, I spawned, like, right next to one of these big sky islands that spawns these slimes, and it was just, it's just never-ending amount of slimes, and it was very noisy. <laughs> but thankfully, we're just kind of out here on our own, it seems like, which is nice. Okay, so let's finish the, uh, let's finish making the platform as big as it's going to be. It's about to be nighttime, and 
we, we can technically get a bed. We have to just turn some of the leaves that we made into string and then turn that into, like, wool. It's this game, this pack's way of letting you get a bed early, which is kind of nice, because, yeah, you don't want to... You don't want to be up too long, too many nights without sleeping, because then the phantoms start swooping down, which is obnoxious, but... Sleeping also lets you respawn, so it's not the worst anyway. Let's just get this platform built up. Ah, oh, shit. Well, there goes there goes the first casualty. Ah! <laughs> the first poorly placed block. You love to see it. Anyway... We might actually have enough, uh, we need like 12 of these strings to make the wool that we need for the bed. And you just smash them together like so. And then, we could technically make a sleeping bag, but, eh. We'll just make a bed. It's not the, not, not the end of the world that we have it only one spot. Alright, and then we sleep. Zzz. <laughs> and what I'm gonna try is I think if we have like something like this next to a tree we can force it to be like a big like fucking porn star tree ah uh, that one's not quite that big it'll get there it'll grow well that pair of shears broke entirely but we're gonna need the leaves for stuff to come make that we make this little guy here let's get the wood pop that right off Boop. come on twerk it up oh, yep see here see you can use this to force big trees to spawn sometimes this is like an, an absurd amount of wood for one sapling we're gonna break this and this gave us a lot of saplings back too because we can just break all the wood at once and then it's raining it's raining saplings. Yeah, that's that's real that's real good. That's a trick I figured out when I was playing this test test playing this last time. It's just twerking to make the tree big. Just spamming the shit out of the shift key. There we go. Who's a good tree? <laughs> well, let's make some lot we're gonna make some ladders so we can actually climb up these trees and cut um cut leaves from them because we're gonna get more than like we're not gonna cut all the leaves and we'll still probably get more than enough saplings back to just make more trees anyway How, that being said though we're gonna make our first uh, tinker's tool very shortly we need some patterns and we can go to our part builder Slap those in there and let's look at the tinker station. We're gonna make a uh, comma Which is kind of like a it's 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 meant for like harvesting crops and shearing like sheep and stuff like that But you can also use it to get leaves so we need a sword blade a binding and stick so let's go back to this Okay, small blade Binding, and then let's get a rod. Okay, and then let's get this. Let's do that all there, and we have this now. The, the advantage of using this over these shears is that, that you can repair this thing over and over again without having to, like, remake it every single time. You can also repair this comma with just sticks that you get from the tree anyway, so it's just kind of convenient. So we're just going to... First things first, probably just use the rest of this durability here to get more leaves. And we'll climb up here. That's broken. We can uh, sac we can sacrifice some uh, wood for the greater good to get our first initial bit of sticks going here. So we can fix this, and we'll get some more. We'll, we'll gather gather ourselves some more uh, leaves. And we'll just break this tree now. We got we got a bunch of leaves out of it, which will be very useful. Break that. We get our ladders back, and then the rest of those just turn into sticks and saplings. We got more than enough back of each. Mm. 
<clears throat> Alright, well, as much fun as it is just playing with wood, <laughs> we're gonna start doing some things other than assault the trees. Let's make some chests. First of all, that's a nice handy recipe some mods add for making just chests right out of the wood. Cause we're gonna need some we're gonna need some chests. In general. Cause what we're gonna wanna do is have this composter here set up to where it automatically just processes these leaves to make bone meal for us. In order to do that, well, I'm gonna need more than one of these, but well, no, not that one, that one. <laughs> make a wood hopper. We're gonna make, need another one. Okay, and for now we'll just kinda shove it like over here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. It, we can move it at our own leisure. Okay, put that there. Get our composter. Jump up there. Uh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, well. It's it's really goofy, but oh, we can't even get up there. Egg on my face. Egg on my face. Fine. <laughs> Just do that so we can step up here, cause. We need to put this one here, because this one will feed all the leaves into here. And what we can do is put leaves in there, and then we can also click ourselves. Like with another stack while this is doing that, we can like just do it at like really fast speeds. And this will get us the initial bone meal we need to do some stuff. And most of these leaves came from like one singular big ass tree, so it's not really like that much of a loss. How full is this one? Like one more? We'll... And that's why I don't like using saplings for this because saplings don't always get filled up. And if you run out of saplings, you gotta like do the the, the shame. It's not really shame, but you have to like do this like emergency uh, items thing where you like wait like 30 seconds to get one another sapling so that you don't get completely just fucked because you need wood. You needs it. Okay, let's break this next. We don't have to really get up there anymore. Okay. All right. Next on our list here. Now that we have bone meal, we can kind of progress to the next thing, which I think is making mulch. And to make mulch, you need saplings. You need leaves or saplings. It's a lot easier to get the leaves, so we'll probably be doing that for our mulch. Come on. I'm twerk I'm twerking for it. I'm twerking real hard. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> Got more of a grower, not a shower. Oh there we go. <laughs> it was it was properly inspired to turn out. And we're gonna make some some of these oh. don't mind me I'm just a little dumb <laughs> I had one, one too many because you can stand on top of like this base of the ladder here and then just Come down here, our thing broke, grab grab the leaves, fix our our thingy, and then go get some more leaves. And honestly, since we already got like at least one sapling from this, I don't really mind if we just get as many of these leaves as possible.
Because that, that'll just make it, we can make a bunch of mulch. And some of the leaves, like, some of the leaves that get separated when we cut the leaves, cut the other leaves, will just give us saplings anyway, so it's we're not really losing out on much. Okay, and then we'll come over here, break those. And honestly, we'll probably just let this, uh, let, let those, um, get broken when we break the tree, because, nope, oh, just more saplings, too, so yeah, like, we're still, like, net positive saplings from that big tree, even though we got most of the leaves, otherwise, ah, we lost a few more. I usually, I like to have railings on the outside of these too, so it's like technically a 15 by 15 square, but look at all those leaves. So it leaves them sapling some used to make mulch, which we will be doing. So let's start with like one. And then you can use you can mulch can be placed in the ground and turn into dirt. Which is gonna lead us to our first, uh, our first other platform is gonna be a place specifically for doing. Oh, it's supposed to be nighttime. That's gonna be a place specifically for growing uh, bone mealing grass and flowers and stuff. There we go. Now we can sleep. We can sleep. Mmm, sleepy weepy. Okay, so now I need to figure out where I want this thing to go. I'm trying to put in a place where there's, like, more stuff that would otherwise be bad for other places. Although, frankly, we're in a pretty open part of the sky compared to my last one. So we shouldn't have too many problems with, like, stuff spawning where I don't want them to. We eat this apple. Mmm, delicioso. We'll use this other chest for just general storage. Let's get stuff out of our, of our bag that we don't need. And we're gonna just make a bunch of these slabs. Just a whole heckin' bunch. All right, so. We'll place that there so we can start making the the railings because I don't want my dumbass to fall off and die because I I will not be surprised if I like just like do that <laughs> at some point if I were to just like kind of absentmindedly just start walking away all right so we need to make sure that the center piece is not infringed upon so it's like one two three so it's six on each side we'll just place that there and we can do this and the vast majority of our initial platforms are going to look very similar to what we're doing now because it's just a surprisingly ordered way of for me to for my stupid brain to do things like I generally play things like this very chaotically but when it comes to like these like kind of like sky blocky kind of things I tend to do very cookie cutter kind of set situations like this where like I do it a certain way Mostly so I don't have to really think too hard about it. I'm going to be completely honest because now I can just, oh, time to build. And then we just build a new thing and then, oh, bye. <laughs> there goes another one. All right, well, this is technically the first platform quote unquote done this would be like kind of like the hub for now and hmm let's head out this way for our first new place 
the one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's do. So if I'm gonna have a five by five square in the center, which so it would be like one, three, five. So I think I need like four. Hmm. And then to start putting the dirt down. Well, it's gonna initially be not dirt, but we're gonna be need more leaves. Let's just say that. <laughs> and we make the mulch, which I think we already had a mulch somewhere, but that's okay. We'll just more, the more the merrier. And I might be making this a little bigger than anticipated, but that's okay. It's one, three, five, seven. I can't, it's hard for me to visually count stuff like this when everything looks really similar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, th this whole, this is basically, um, you start with, like, the very basics, and you eventually make, like, this big, like, sky, like, Minecraft in the sky experience. Like, you go to different dimensions to get stuff from there, so you can bring it back to do more stuff, like, to make, like, different metal and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's very basic right now, because we're just starting everything. Two, three, five. I'm all, I'm also just very methodical about this t wrong place. Yeah, I'm being like very methodical about things too. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a much different way of playing Minecraft, and I quite like doing stuff like this. Okay, so two, three. We're just gonna build the 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 outer layer of all this stuff before we put the rest of the uh, mulch and stuff in. Three, four, five, six. Like it's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine and good just playing normal Minecraft where you're like you go like underground and mine shit. But in this one, this one specifically, you um you make different different kinds of water that process these like like blank kind of like soulless versions of like dust and like nuggets of stuff. And we'll we'll be getting that pretty soon. I'm just this first place. And this is gonna be a permanent like kind of like area that I'm setting up now anyway. So we'll be getting more into that very shortly one two three four so yeah I, I made a lot of slabs and we're gonna we're gonna need a lot of fucking slabs let's be re let's be complete I'm gonna be completely honest we're gonna need most if not all of these that I made okay so that should be the outer area of that one. Let's. Okay. Oh, son of a, there's the third one. Just keeping a running tally in my head of how many blocks I fucking waste. Granted, these slabs are extremely easy to get, so it's not really that big of a deal, but Still, I still feel bad if I waste anything. Growing up poor in America does that to you. <laughs> Two, three, four. And normally during these Minecraft streams, I play Spotify, but, like, I figured since this is, like, the first, like, stream of it, I'll just listen to, like, the sounds of the game or all and all that. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. And just like with the other one, other initial one, we're probably going to have this one link up to a separate, like, other platform. 
And with that, we'll also be setting up like a little kind of like a farming district or whatever, like where I specifically have like plants growing or something like that. In part to keep myself organized and also just because it probably looks nicer to do it that way. But yeah, I'll be streaming this until like dinner time, and then after me and my roommate di roommate make dinner, I'll be I'll be playing more of this because yeah, I've been looking. I got uh, the, the the mod pack I was playing before this is called Sevtech Ages, and it was it's really fun, but the, it's designed just in a very um, inconvenient way, like. It, it inconveniences you very often with little things to add, like, to add, like, quote, like, add pr more progression stuff, which, fair enough, but, like, after a while, like, it really grates on you, and I, I streamed that for, like, 28 weeks, <laughs> so I, 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 th I was ready to, to try something new, and I found this one, and I had a, I've had a good time playing it, so I figured it's time to move along to this, so that platform is done wood-wise, let's put the rest of the wood away. Uh, we're gonna just start making mulch of these leaves. Son of a bitch! No. Well, there it goes. That's a little bit more, a little more annoying to waste than the slabs, admittedly. But anyway. Honestly, leaves are very pretty much infinite too, so it's not really that big of a deal anyway, but still kind of doesn't feel very good <laughs> when that happens. And that was also me just going a little faster than I probably needed to when doing this. And what we're going to be doing with this mulch is that we'll be using bone meal on it to turn it to dirt. I think I just need like one more mulch for now, although... I'll probably just turn all of it because eventually we'll be able to turn this mulch into other things too other than just dirt we're also going to eventually be able to auto grow trees without having to do this ourselves yeah it's sleep time sleepy time yeah, if you if you if you stay awake for like three consecutive nights, these things, these mobs that spawn in newer Minecraft called phantoms, start flying around trying to attack you. They're fucking obnoxious, so I just don't want to deal with them. Okay, this is not a very not an extremely big tree. We're gonna need more. Uh, bone meal for sure so I'm just gonna set that in there and let it go while I do other things and this this tree specifically will just turn into a, like a whole bunch of sticks for repairing this guy <laughs> gotta make that money Good do if we really wanted to be try hard, which probably not super necessary since we don't have a, lo a lot of leaves right now anyway. So we're gonna put chest like this above this, and then it pull stuff from that chest into here. Sky bean, sky bean, sky bean, sky bean, bean on <laughs> the good old beon. <laughs> Hello, Ash. How are you doing, my dear friend? We're starting this mod pack. Less unga bunga, more just in the sky. Like we're still starting from very, pretty much nothing. We started on this with like one tree, and we've been just kind of expanding out from here. Hell yeah, laying in bed vibing. If I wasn't streaming, that's probably what I would be doing. Not, <laughs> not gonna lie. We're currently in the process of growing trees and then getting, collecting their leaves. I'm trying to make these big trees grow. They're, 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 they're more of a grower than a shower most of the time. Come on. 
Come on. Uh, basically, it starts out how I'm doing now. You uh, grow trees, and we're, we're right now doing stuff with their leaves. Like, we're using their leaves to make bone meal so we can turn this to dirt and to do other things. And we're using wood to, like, make more platforms. And eventually, we're going to be able to use special kinds of water to process, like, dust and, like, rocks and stuff, which we're not that far off from that, honestly. Yeah, this is, this is like Skyblock, but a different progression kind of path than normal Skyblock. Like, where, like, you start with, like, a, a bucket of lava and, like, a bucket of water or some ice or something. And this is also, like, a 1.18 pack, so there's not only just, like, a bunch of other mods with it, but all, like, the new Minecraft stuff with caves and cliffs, too, so... So we're gonna basically trim this, put this back in here, fix it again with some sticks, and we'll trim some more leaves off, because we need a lot of leaves. Okay, and then we can go down here and just break the tree and get our ladders back, because we have to we have to get up, and <laughs> up there to get the leaves. And for now, we'll just shove more leaves into this composter to make some more, uh, bone meal. We can also shove leaves in there ourselves too to like kind of double the speed of it. We need at least 25 bone meal. More of that would be better because then we could start doing uh getting grass and seeds for stuff. I'll tell you what, progression of this was much slower than until before I figured out the in when I was playtesting this that you could grow these big trees by having something like here to kind of like force it to grow a bigger size sometimes. Because like normally you just get these kind of small wimpy trees, but with this you can get some pretty some pretty gnarly some pretty pretty gnarly Johnsons. <laughs> okay, we don't need to really go f too far for that one. Okay. Good old Johnny Johns. Can I can I reach? And the good thing about these big trees is sometimes when you're like breaking the the stuff to get breaking the leaves off, like some of the other attached leaves will break and you'll just get saplings back anyway. So it's just kind of like a just like a nifty little thing there. And when we break the tree, the ladders will fall off, so we're not, like, really losing out on anything. But we definitely need... Like, for now, this is going to be our best way of getting bone meal, is doing this kind of stuff. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we go. Yeah, like, we'll break, uh... That, and more leaves will probably break... We, see, there's a sapling back to replace the one we used to make this tree in the first place. And then we'll go up and get some more. And we we'll, we'll, might as well just get all the leaves off here that we can. Alright. And now we can hop down here and hold the grave key and then target that and we get all the wood, all the ladders, and then any like stuff that was stuck in the branches too, so. Yeah. <laughs> that one tree got us all these leaves. Like four like four and a quarter stacks of leaves. That's at this point. Uh we'll just get we'll get enough to um We'll put one one stack of these in here. And then we'll feed these through, and then the rest of the leaves will save to use for other stuff. Alright. So what we do with this bone meal is we have this mulch here that we made earlier. We're going to turn it into dirt. And then what we're going to do with that dirt is 
the next quest, well, it sa technically says we need to make a dirt. Oh, I suppose. I'm, I'm sure we'll need a... I'm sure we'll need another, um... Dirt for something eventually, anyway. We don't have to do these specifically in order. Like, we could probably do this as long as we have the means to do it. But this is kind of like a, the pathway of... And we can use four saplings and some acacia and some leaves to make an organic seeds and use those to make a lot of different uh, a lot of different seeds to start farming things with. So let's, let's see if we got nineteen I think it's this and one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over this and press A and I'll bookmark it over here so that if we wanna need to make more organic seeds at some point we'll be able to. Okay, and we got organic seeds. And you can use organic seeds to turn dirt into grass. So we're going to do that. We're going to put that right here. I was wondering if you could just like shift to make this grass grow faster, but it does not seem to be the case. So this is going to just kind of do its own thing for a little bit. Okay. And breaking grass can sometimes drop wheat seeds. We've got to wait for it to grow. And in that case, we can start doing other things we can start doing like this is the big one to get because you can use string to make them like the the strainer meshes that get you stuff initially otherwise you have to do plant string which is made of leaves which is not hard to get but you know it's this is the next thing this is an aqua catalyst we're gonna need to find a night we have to we have to get a flower before we can do that so we gotta wait for this so in the meantime, let's put, put away all our other junk. Let's also put on some more leaves to do that with. So it's doing something while we're kind of doing other things. Go take me a drink of my ginger ale. I love me some ginger ale. One of my favorite drinks. Nice and fresh tasting. Excuse me. I, I am a big fan. Of my, my favorite is generally Canada, Canada Dry just because you know, it tastes pretty good and it's you can get it pretty much anywhere. So it's you're not you're gonna not have a hard time finding it. <clears throat> so well, it's nighttime now, so we're probably not gonna start it just this second. Because if we travel too far away from this, that might, uh, that, th this area and this area are technically, like, for press F7, you'll see, like, these, like, blue X's. That means mobs can spawn here if it's dark enough. With it being nighttime, that would probably be dark enough. So we're gonna not do that just yet. Because <laughs> we're gonna be wanting to build, like, 25 or so blocks away. So we can have po hostile mobs spawn while we're just, like, over here hanging out. And then on the minimap, if we see, like, red circles, we'll be like, oh, there's enemies, and we can go kill them. That's the idea, though. Because if we look at, like, these different kinds of uh, dirt here, there's dreadful dirt, which spawns hostile mobs that we can, uh, rotten egg is the thing. Hmm, can we not make a rotten egg? Hmm. Okay, I was under the impression we can make these two, because the, you can use these to make this dreadful dirt that like spawns hostiles like really fast. But I guess that's not, that's something you can just like make. We can trade for the with these uh, sky bucks, but I don't want to really use those just yet. Anyway, let's sleep so there's no nasties that are gonna spawn when we go do this. Okay, we can just turn this off because whatever. <clears throat> And while we're while we're gone, hopefully this grass will spread a little bit. But we're gonna take twenty five of this with us, so we can just have the exact amount that we need to know how far away we need to be. I guess I'll base that off of like roughly here. Some one, two, three, four. Maybe we only need twenty going this way. We'll, we'll, we'll only use 20, and then 
Because if you if you go if you go like twenty five away out from where you roughly are, hostiles can spawn. But if you go too much farther away from that, they like thirty or so out, they stop spawning or they like can start despawning. It's like a very specific amount that you have to go out to. So we are going to <laughs> stomp. <laughs> So we're going to do just this specific way, depth out here. Oh, I noticed we're about to starve to death or start starving. I, I don't think I have it on like hard mode so we'd like not die, but let's um maybe pivot to getting some seeds and stuff going here. Oh, we have some grass already, so we can start trying to bone meal for... We can bone meal and try to get some grass. Perfect, we got a seed. That's all we technically need to start getting food. So we're going to just make like a really quick and dirty wooden hoe. Because the thing, the shift thing we were, we were doing to get the um, to get the tree to grow, that also works on crops. So we're gonna just do this, plant this, and start just twerking for the wheat. All right, and I'll get us some bread. Let's make that into some. Well, we'll get some wheat. I'll get us some bread. All right, but we're gonna <laughs> get a few more of that. Matter of fact, we're, we're going to get um, two more mulch, and we'll make, like, so we can get three bread at a time, three wheat at a time for, like, one bread, so we can just eat food. <laughs> Twerking for the wheat. Got to get that bread. <laughs> Hashtag grind set quote. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need this again, actually. I need some more. And a good thing is also the extra seeds that we get from doing this, we can just put them in there to make more bone meal. Twerking for the wheat. I don't know if I have the quote thing set up, but that's probably something I could look into. I don't know if that I don't know how a lot of that stuff works, so I just never really bothered with it. Okay, and then we just stand here. We'll get like we get a few. We'll, we'll eat. We'll eat until we're full at the very least. And then we can just smash all the smash all the wheat together and some bread. Mmm. That's how it works in real life, right? You just smash a bunch of wheat together and, until it becomes a fluffy loaf of bread. All right, and then these seeds can just go in here because when we were doing the right clicking to harvest them, we got extra seeds, but these didn't get uprooted, so it's just 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 basically free. All right, let's put that away. And let's get these slabs because we're gonna need slabs. Because now that we're out here. We're going to want to, uh, start building up a little bit. All right, I'll be here. Because we are going to make like, kind of little like, spawning, like, zones. Specifically for these mobs to spawn in. To where it'll be, they should be very easy for us to hit the mobs without them hitting us. That should be enough. And we'll just kind of make more. Uh, like I don't like what I'm doing is not an exact science. Like I'm not very knowledgeable of all this stuff, so I'm just kind of like winging it. 
But like these slabs, if we press F7, they are spawnable zones because top side slabs are spawnable, but bottom sides are not. So we can use that to our advantage. Well, that was a waste of stuff. Oh, we got them back, so it's not a complete waste. I, the, the problem I ran into when I was doing this on my testing world for this is I spawned next to one of those slime islands I was talking about earlier, and they were constantly just making slimes. So I had very few monsters show up in my thing that I built like this. It's like, I accidentally, I, well, there wasn't much I could really have done about it unless I moved my entire setup, like, farther away. But I didn't really, but at that point, after I f realized my mistake, I didn't really feel like doing that, so I, I didn't. <laughs> we just, I just kind of killed just enough monsters to get things, and then I used uh, the essences from the slimes that were just massively spawning everywhere all the time to reproduce uh, resources because that's something else this pack does it's kind of cool it's like you can um, use like mob essences on mob drops to like duplicate them in exchange for the essences which i'll probably be able to show that off after i get the, this stuff all made up and working if it works that at, at least it should all right i need to go get more wood though because yeah, that's not enough. It also would behoove me to add a railing so my dumbass doesn't fall off the side. Like a freaking Looney Tunes character. Oh, we're just gonna turn all that into wood. Whatever. If we need more if we need more logs, we can we can get more logs. It's not like it's gonna be very difficult. Let's get some more planks. Uh, that back into a plank so we can just convert that in there. Okay. While we're while we're going, we'll just yeah, we'll just uh add the railing while we're heading back out there. And the good uh, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the way that I'm doing the spawning stuff with this is that, like um it should work fine during day or night like it should just be constantly spawning stuff because like it's gonna be like covered up like if you really wanted to you could do something like this and have it uncovered just like a big like square of like but then the enemies will actually be able to fight you pretty effectively like it's, it'd be like on a on an even playing field and that's not what you really want when you've got like wood and or no weapons <laughs> Like, we could probably kill something with our bare hands if it came to it, but I'd rather not, you know. That involved me getting my tentacles dirty. And that's not what I want to get my tentacles dirty for. Alright, let's finish ringing around the rosy in this shit. And eventually, like, I might just tear this down to make room for, like, actual stuff, but we'll definitely want to make sure we get enough mob drops from this to make that tent reasonable. Alright, so this is safe for me to run around on like a fool. So we'll start building up the, uh, the part that makes this work. Because we can hit through these little small areas here. Yeah, we're going to want to head back though because, yeah, it's getting dark. And if there's very little places for stuff to spawn and they just start, they can, and they're, if there's very little normal space for places, things to spawn, but there's a place that they can suddenly spawn in, they tend to spawn pretty quick <laughs> that's why like in normal minecraft people like if they're going to make like one of those like mob farms that are like up in the sky they'll like clear out like the entire area around it like to bedrock 
Hello, Nakura. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That's fine. Uh, morning stream was pretty good. We're playing some Wayward, which is like the little roguelike turn-based game. But in this one, we're playing. We're starting a new mon um, Minecraft mod pack in the sky. As you can see, there's like sky trees. There's like hot air balloons. There's geodes full of amethysts. We're currently working on a, a, a spawning area for mobs so that we can get stuff like bones and rotten flesh and. Well, these spawning areas won't really accept, um, have a, an area good enough for spiders, but I might try to put one of those in on the side over here, because spiders have very specific, uh, damn it, have very specific spawning requirements compared to other mobs. Like, they have to have, like, a 1 by 3 area to spawn in. So right now we're just kind of filling out this part here. Because these little slabs right here are going to keep the mobs from being able to mostly see me. Which it doesn't really matter for the zombies, but like if creepers see you, that's when they'll start doing their explosion thing. And I do not want to get my ass blasted out of the sky today. <laughs> That we could have an all lovely one by three area to call our own. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice, right? Like some, you just have some place you can go back to once you spawn there, and then just get murdered. It's just my own place to be murdered in. Ain't that ain't that sweet? All right, for now we're gonna do this so we can get up here. I am gonna need more slabs. So we're gonna temporarily go back and mix turn one of these stacks of planks into more slabs because we need to put slabs on top of everything you live a dangerous life well so you, sometimes you gotta do funny things all right so we're gonna need so that's already one block high so two three that's the height we're gonna need everything else to be at because if they're three if it's three blocks high it can also spawn endermans which is what we want Now we could go full hog and make like a big mob spawning thing at some point, but for now we're just doing this to try to get the initial stuff. Yep, there's I haven't I haven't seen what spawns in those yet because I, I play tested this during this week when I my had free time. I was just kind of playing this casually just to see how the pack was, and so far I quite like it. So I figured we'd start playing this now instead of the other unga bunga thing because. I'd kind of like exhausted my desire to play that by going to the moon and beating the moon boss. That was kind of like all I ever really wanted to do is start as a cave person and then get to the moon. <laughs> so we did that and I was like, well, what else do I really want to do? And the answer was not much, <laughs> unfortunately. We might go back to it at some point, but for now, I figured starting something new would be fun for everyone, especially me, which... Unfortunately, well, not, I'm not going to say unfortunately, but is kind of the important thing. Because if I'm not having fun, why am I streaming? Like, what's, what, like, what is the point if I'm not having a good time? Alright, now we can just hop down here and we press F7. These areas are, have the little blue X's, which means they should be able to spawn monsters. So let's head over here and see if my thing works. Let's give it a few seconds, see if any, anything decides to join this this mortal coil. It might also only work at night, because I think maybe some, even though there's spawnable space, like, the light area is still really high. I don't know. We've got that fixed up, though, so that's fine. While we were doing that, this was growing, and we needed this, honestly. So, that was just kind of busy work. But now we have that, we can, um... We already get seeds from breaking other grass, but we need to like actually collect grass. So let's use a bone meal on the center here. Collect the grass. 
He's another bone meal. I'm hoping to get a flower in these bone meal that I've got initially here, but we might we might have to make a flower chest instead. Yeah, we'll have to make a flower chest. Oh, this is broken. Oh well. Oh, that gave us a bunch of grit. Just like in a Tales game, final phase is going to space. Now game is over. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I, I went to the moon, I made a little moon base, and then we went to, like, some moon dungeon and fought the moon boss, and it was a fun time, but, like, I kind of, like, that's kind of about as far as I really wanted to ever really get, <laughs> frankly. So, I kind of, I kind of fulfilled my little space dreams of being a little space bean. Alright, so, let's go back to organics, not organic, basic supplies. So, we got grass, and... A flower when open will generate a range of flowers. We need this, so we need eight eight grass and a chest to make this. Cause we didn't get any flowers when we were doing the um the bone mealing part, so we'll just get flowers this way. Okay, that Okay, they got us some flowers and we need those flowers to make um Oh, I need some leaves. Okay, so if we go to strainers, we need to make an aqua catalyst, which is another thing we're going to be pressing on because we're making a few of these. So make an aqua catalyst, you need a flower of some kind, some grass, and some leaves. And what this does is it turns mulch into water. Oh... <laughs> Oh no! They heard me talking about fluids! <laughs> no! <laughs> Curse you, Bezos! You fucking fuck! Alright, we'll put these leaves in here to kinda. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cool thing about this peony, though, is I think it's a too tall, too high flower. Which means we can use bone meal on it directly to just get another peony. Yeah, we can. So that's infinite like flower. Well, not. We still have to use resources to get it, but it's still like just more flowers. You survived the gauntlet. I now have an American Express card. <laughs> it's like. Oh no! They got you! They got- they got ya! Alright, so now I gotta figure out where I want this water to go, because for now we're not able to move water around. So we're gonna probably have this first bit of water over here, because... Now that becomes water. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to do... Okay, we're gonna need more water, and more of that- more of those things I just made. Because, yeah, we need to set up strainers, which are going to have their own place. Which means we have to get more slabs and more wood and, you know, all that shit. We'll set that place up over here. Maybe that'll be far enough away to get stuff to show up, or maybe that just needs to be dark. Can't, can't remember exactly. Did you just transform dirt into water? Art thou Venus? Um, we transformed this mulch stuff into water with this little crystal thing we made. That's part of the, that's part of the, like this packs like thing is that it uses like w different kinds of water to transform things into other things, which is kind of cool. It's a little different than most other skyblock sort of things do. All right, so we're gonna need to get a little lower once we get going with this thing that I want to do. So let's, let's start with like a, the, a ring around ev everything. That's not where I wanted that to go. Art of thou Venus. Okay, and then we'll put that, and then we'll just keep going around. Because right here, uh, well, on one of the sides, we're going to have um, a stairway down to get down to a lower area. Because the things that we're going to set up now are um, called strainers, and you can collect stuff from the bottom of them with these like little hopper things we have, like for this guy. 
But for that, we need to be underneath. So we're going to have an underneath area too. Which we technically set up with this water now. We could just like have the water flow down. We could just build underneath. That'd be a much easier way to do it. But I'm stubborn, so we're not going to do that. I mostly need to figure out the logistics of what I'm doing here, though. Let's see. Okay, I think that's going to be good enough. Oh, it's, it's going to be nighttime. We can see if things are going to show up. So let's let the, let's let the night, f night fall. We'll see if my uh, my silly plan is going to work. So we'll just kind of sit here for a second. I'm going to take a drink while the sun goes down. I can still see you, son. <laughs> hmm. Um, let's see. 15 block light from the sky, zero on a block. Okay. Something doesn't feel right. Like I might, I might have, I must have messed it up somehow. We'll know if it, we'll know if it's working if um, you suddenly see red dots appear on the map. There would be more sunset. Take a big sippy as you watch one last sunset. <laughs> I just read that. That's great. Okay, so we're gonna want to move these over here. I might have the downstairs portion, 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 part, part. <laughs> I might have the downstairs starting right here, but we gotta figure out our our other settings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, let's start going around the outer edge too. I have a feeling it's because my area over there is not fully like covered up on all sides. So like technically the light level in there is not low enough to sh have monsters show up. Which is annoying, that's like... A change they made in newer Minecraft versions where, like, um, the light level has to be, like, zero for shit to spawn. And by default, light, the sky gives you 15. Wait, what, what did I just do? What was I doing? I'm losing my mind, apparently. <laughs> what in the fuck was I doing? I just kind of went off on a tangent. You know what? It's fine. So yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing it's not dark enough for those things to show up that I want to show up. Or maybe the game just hates me. That's also a possibility. All well, those slabs are doomed because I um, doomed them from the start. So we'll... Uh, We'll break them off and send them into the great beyond. Because I messed up a little bit when putting stuff down. I'm trying to very carefully, like... Oh, great. I say very carefully, that thing just breaks off and falls into the abyss. I'm trying to make very carefully place this stuff, but like. 
It's definitely nighttime now, so I'm just kind of annoyed that stuff's not showing up over there. slabs or maybe I'm too far away I didn't think I was too far away hmm maybe that's something to do with this being like my spawn chunk let me I think it's is it like another F thing like press to show spawn chunk boundaries no it's not that that was camera mode whatever the hell that is um Light overlay. Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling this might it might be because this uh, stuff is too close to like the spawn chunk or some crap. So we might have to move this further out. Oh nope. There's a creeper. I see the little feet. I see your stinky little feet. Maybe they're just maybe the spawn chance is just really low. See the only way that creeper's gonna be able to see me is if I'm like at each far end, but I could just stand here and just punch this thing in the feet to death. Granted, that's a little foolhardy because it's not lit up over there, so there's a possibility something could show up there on just punching this creeper to death in the feet like a fool. But hey, at least it sort of works. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know when it showed up. I just know that it did and I just punched it to death. So we're going to go to sleep now that I've had at least something happen from over there. Alright, let's put that away. We'll keep on working on this because we're going to need this regardless of whatever I'm doing. We're just going to need more and more slabs anyway, so. So basically what I'm building now is these, uh, in each corner there's going to be a, uh, a strainer thing. Like down here or something. And we're going to have water above it and... Yeah. And those don't need to be connected, but I kind of wanted to anyway. <laughs> And maybe over here, we can have the stairway down instead of having it over here. I don't know. We could have it, like, start over here. I should probably make a tool that's a little faster at chopping than just my bare hands. Because that's just what we've been doing is just bare handing it. So let's go ahead and see. We're going to want to make a... Maddock here, so I need an axe head, a round thing, and a stick. Okay. So there's a stick. We need a round thing. Let's make some planks back from that. Okay, so get a round thing and then an axe head. Alright, and then we'll make this Maddock, which will let us cut stuff more effectively than our hands not much more effectively but it is a little better I 
as, as you see, with, I was able to place something below this. So we're going to do this to kind of slow but surely get further down. If I can not mess up, that is. All right, cool. Now we can hop up. kind of it's kind of iffy getting going down like this you have you it's it's kind of scary I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you I'm a little spooked doing this Definitely not the smartest way to do this, but we we both we all know. I do not I do not like this. One singular bit. Okay. So that's one, two. I kind of want to go down another one if possible. Damn it, not there. break this crap all right my 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 very small but tangible nightmare has is now over because now we're down here we can start building up like an, an area down here below specifically below this place <laughs> My pinky rest because it's been holding the shift key a lot, like obsessively. Need some more wood. I probably should get these. Just these leaves. At least some leaves. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, Sordio Ventus. Hello. We are playing Skyopolis 5. I am working on 
my crip dealing with my crippling fear of heights while building down another layer in this this wonderful place. Uh, but we're 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 getting there very slowly. I tried building like a mob spawning area. Yeah, I have sound alerts. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need more slabs. So let's let's get more slabs. Okay. my own sanity's sake, I'm building this out so that I can walk down here and not worry about falling off and dying immediately. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm a little stupid. It's just a hair. Right. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking I put this stuff at the wrong, like, distance or something. Like, it's just, we had that one creeper and that's literally it. Oh, hello there. Big old tree. Well, let's let's get the ladders and get up there and get some. Get some of that delicious 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 uh leaves. Yeah. Break me off a piece of that. Fix it again. Break off another piece of that. Oh, yeah, there's a sapling to replace the one we used. Perfect. Okay, well. Get some more. Fix it again. Yeah, we, we're getting a lot of leaves from this one. Oh, there's a tree, tree branch above my head. Okay, let's get some more leaves from up here, too. I think that was most, if not all, the leaves. Whatever's left, cool. Okay, and then we'll get more wood too. Get our ladders back. Sweet, let's sleep because it's dark. Actually, I want to I want to get a little farther away and see if that will cause some more mobs to spawn over there. Like, let's go over here. Maybe they'll show up. I don't know when that creeper showed up, but it did. So I was like, hmm. We just need to get a, a a skeleton to show up and give us at least like one bone. Yeah, I'm just kind of walking around to different spots, seeing where I can get these th things to show up, and I'm I'm suspecting it's a lighting issue. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Whatever. We'll worry about it later. Like, if it really comes to it, I can, like, 
make a whole like a big like just wide area where they things can spawn on and just kind of do it that way instead Okay, let's put that away. We're not going to worry about that right now. Same with that. Mostly just needed more more slabs <laughs> cuz we're using we're just building a lot right now. Okay. Boop 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 boop. <laughs> you almost got me. <laughs> Freaking mod pack I was playing pr prior to this was um, Sevtech Ages, and that, that mod pack has trumpet skeletons, and that's where that sound comes from. Because their skeletons have little trumpets, and they'll, they'll just sometimes they'll, you'll be walking around above ground, you'll just hear, doo -doo, and you're like, oh, there's another one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just filling this entire area in down here because we're going to have, like, these um, water strainers, like, in these kind of spots, like, right here. And they'll be they'll be sitting over underneath a bit of water, and they'll be straining out water to get uh, resources for us. And they'll have, we'll have hoppers underneath each of them, so I need this area down here to kind of be where the hoppers are sit the hoppers are all sitting at. And I gotta, I gotta make, I gotta dummy proof it a little bit because, well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a dummy. <laughs> what a digital dummy! Uh, right, so that's where that needs to go to. Really hoping I just uh, lightning doesn't strike my platform at some point because there'll be so much lost because <laughs> it's all fucking wood. Uh, at some point, we might expand this out more in a different direction. Yeah, for now, I'm just trying to get this area filled in. Probably gonna need to get more wood for that. Before we're done yeah definitely made a pretty good pretty good um, dent in it but we need we need more come on <laughs> Fucking crab root. Hell yeah. Okay, we're gonna break this one so we can get some sticks and saplings from it. I mean, we're doing pretty fine on saplings, but it's always good to just not run out of saplings when you're, you know, your whole lifeblood depends on wood. So, I'm just trying to be a little. Just trying to be slightly more intelligent than normal, which is scary. Who's that? Who's that making those decisions? Is it me? Who gave me the who gave me the clearance to do that? <laughs> All right, so let's actually finish the this top part first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, my word that I was using to do the um, two, three, four. Five, six. 
In my, in my world I was playing this week to test this mod pack out, I was, did 11 by 11 platforms, and I found that to not be satisfactory enough, because, like, it's pretty decently sized, but, like, there are some things that made more sense if, th if things were 13 by 13, because then you could, like... Like, what I'm doing now is I'm having these uh, slabs here that are going to partition off the water so that it doesn't flow everywhere. And so I can have, like, four water strainers per little quadrant and be all organized and stuff. So that's, like, the main advantage of playing this beforehand to uh, see how everything's working is I can actually kind of strategize how I want to actually build things. So in the case of this, this is kind of like an idea I had after I had already done stuff a different way and like, wait, I could probably do this a way much better way. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, did you miss Crab Rave? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you might have missed Crab Rave. I think that's, that might be what you're talking about. Oh, there it goes. No, you did not get... No, I'm not a racist. <laughs> I do not watch Asmongold. Uh... Oh, did, are you, oh, I thought I wasn't sure like if you're being serious because of the crab rave. Um, I don't know what to. I don't. I don't know. Cause I I didn't like in my stream or anything, so I'm not sure what would have happened. Weird. And I guess another good part of me building underneath this is if I fuck up by placing stuff, I can at least, like, recover by, I don't know. I should just, I just need to get good, to get good at the block placing mini game. You know, I need to just be good. They were talking about, um, of course they'd be talking about Hitler. <sighs> Yeah, Twitter's been a, a a dumpster fire ever since Long Muskrat decided to um, let everything go to literal garbage. Then again, everything he touches goes to shit, so it's not really a surprise. He's the like shit emperor of shit town. Like somebody at work. Like, was like, oh, well, Elon will fix this stuff. I just had to, like, stop and just laugh at their face. And, like, this motherfucker's, like, turned, like, $44 billion into, like, less than eight <laughs> in, like, a month. He's, like, speedrunning being a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. If you, if you want, if you want to kill monkeys with brain chip implants, then, yeah, he's the man for the job. Fucking ridiculous. That people think this guy knows anything about anything. <laughs> like sometimes I'm like, oh man, I'm a fucking idiot. And then I'm like, oh wait, I'm not that much of an idiot. <laughs> Cause goddamn, there's there's being a little a little <laughs> there's <laughs> there's a special like it's oh god. It's just an, a, a special, like, depth of just not having brain that involves being a billionaire. Like, it's just, a, it's a, I'd say it's a talent, but not really. It's probably not something you want to, 
to be or have brain shrapnel. I'm gonna need to get more wood. Yeah, this takes a lot of stuff to make. And I still don't even have this thing over here done, but yeah, whatever. All right, let's 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 twerk out and let's <laughs> let's twerk out another boner here. Come on, come on, big money. Hey, thanks for stopping in. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> yeah, still no idea why stuff's not showing up over there, but I'll deal. We'll deal with it later. Like maybe later, I'll just make like a big open platform instead of all this junk, because that's obviously not working. I wonder if it's because there's too few places for stuff to show up. Maybe I. Mm, I'm just kind of at a loss. Eat the bread. Alright. Hopefully that's enough to finish off this thing over here. Because I'm itching to kind of do more progr actual progression stuff that's not just building shit with wood planks. Although this, although this infrastructure is very necessary, it's still just kind of like not interesting in the slightest <laughs> it's like a, the necessary evil you have to do it's like oh i gotta build this structure so that my shit can work and so my stupid ass won't f fall off the platform <laughs> There we go, in case I need some other direction. Okay. So we're going to have to get more wood. <laughs> Again. Because always. We're always in dire need of wood. So we're going to shake our money maker. There we go. Ooh, hello. We're going to have to stop and get some more leaves from this thing. Because this is just a really good opportunity to get a lot of leaves. Shake that ass. Oh. oh, yeah, there's some saplings. Perfect. <laughs> oh, more saplings. Okay, that's the rest. There we go. Get some more wood, some more sticks too. Let's make some sticks out of one of the logs here for more repairs later. Okay. Bunch more leaves. We're gonna need lots of leaves. For better or for worse. Especially with what we're gonna be needing um, going forward. Like, we have to make these strainer bases here. Which take a decent amount of wood apiece. Four, 
8, 12, 16. So we're going to need like 16 chests. That's not enough. <laughs> I can already tell you now that is not enough. So let's get some more, another tree going. Come on. Come on. Oh. Well, since you're right here. <laughs> Might as well. It's literally right there. So there's all the, well, that's what I know. That's actually not all the chests at all. I don't know what I'm saying. Not even close. Not even close. It's not worth it breaking up the logs when I can just craft the logs directly into the chests. That's another reason why I wanted to do it in like four in like fours, is that it makes craft the crafting recipe stuff all a lot easier to deal with. Okay, so. Oh, alright. I wasn't expecting the whole tree to fucking just give up the ghost like that, but cool, whatever. More leaves. It's probably still not enough wood, but we can at the very least we have all the chests made for this crafting stuff. So we're also gonna need these, which is gonna be even more wood. Maybe we should only start on the first like f four of them instead, like first eight of them rather. Still gonna need some more wood because. We gotta at least have some of them going initially. Alright. Mm. Oh no, leaves are pretty nice. I just know how many leaves I end up ha end up using to make stuff, so I just let's get some more, and then I'll fix this up and not get any more leaves from this tree. Oh boy! Give me the wood. Rapid onset birds. <laughs> Let's see, those need fences. And we're not to where we can do this yet, so we're going to have to make fences the old-fashioned way. This. And each of these needs two fences, so it's going to get awkward. Okay, so that's three strainers worth. Six strainers worth. I hate Matt. I hate. 
I hate math. I hate math. I hate math. <laughs> okay, that's nine. For now, we're only going to do eight. Which means now these need to turn into these hoppers. And we're doing it that way instead. Just, yeah. Okay, and then this, and that. All right, so we've got eight of these. These are going to go right here, 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 and here. This slab will go there. 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 I'll put these ones in, and... Hmm. Let's sleep. It's just kind of annoying. Ah. All right, so now we need string meshes, which if we had regular string, we would be able to... Um, We'd be, well, we can get regular string without having to interact with monsters, but that's going to just take a bit. So to get this, we need eight leaf string, which costs a lot of leaves, so that's why we were uh, getting leaves. I'm just going to do that and make two of those. <laughs> so which, yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to need a lot of this shit. And that's why I was getting so many damn leaves, because this just getting anything going with this stuff just takes so long. I'm doing it this way at least. Once we can get other string going, which frankly is probably not too far off in the future. Like this this is gonna be like the first stumbling block to get over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those, and then we do this, which gives us the strainers. And with those strainers, we'll be, we'll be able to get uh, blank pebbles and blank uh, rocks. These aren't set up to do anything yet because there's no um, there's no water, but that's fine. We're going to be fixing that very soon. I'm just gonna chop this one down because I just need the wood. In the near future, we'll be able to automate wood production with something called bonsai pots or whatever. And they'll get their own area like this. I might initially put them like here just to kind of get them going. But otherwise, yeah, they'll get their own spot. Another thing we need leaves for is we have to make mulch <laughs> for, you know, this, these aqua catalysts, because that's the only way we can get water right now is turning mulch into water. 
like the pervert like <laughs> it's not it's not water to wine but you know it'll work like it's fine <laughs> and now we got to get uh, more two more of these catalysts which means we need eight of these and two flowers Oh, wait, it's grass, not saplings. Well, that's fine. Okay. And we'll do this. That will flow out to these, which gives these the water they need to work. And these will start start working. And in the meantime, we're going to start getting the... Uh, We, we want to get hoppers for these. See, they're making stuff already, but, like, they'll just kind of be stuck in there until we manually grab them out. But we want hoppers to do that for us so that we so less shit we have to do. Right, so, yeah, we're going to need more trees. There's no... We, there's no avoiding it. Just, just get on the table and start twerking. <laughs> As sometimes this is what you, you do, what you gotta do. Ooh, got a bunch of saplings out of that. If I wanted to be really try hard, I'd move this stuff next to this area so that this would 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 be getting wheat while doing this. But I'm not that <laughs> concerned at this very second about that. I mean, we did just use up a bunch of leaves, so let's replenish that a little bit. gonna like this stuff just takes so much wood that we don't really have yet you know like it's just like we need another tree to get more <laughs> just to get more But once we can get this set up, this will these will just passively get us shit until the the little thingies break. Which with how many we we have, like in my playtest thing that I was doing, I had like three of these, and I got so much shit. And this so far is eight, <laughs> so we're gonna have an, a ridiculous amount of resources, which is good. It just means less waiting. For that, we initially got to put in a bit more work. Okay. No, oh, wait, what am, I, what am I fucking doing? There we go. We, got all, we have all these. So we're gonna do this. This is probably like the, just the easiest way to do it. Is do something like this and this. And now all the stuff from those up top is getting sent here where we can just pick it up. For now, that's gonna be the best way for us to do this is just do, do it this way. It's like very low tech bare bones. Okay. 
then we can like, collect all this stuff up. And now we've got some some goodies that we can turn to other resources. And we're gonna probably want to start making these storage drawers thingies that I didn't really make uh, previously. Which means we need more tr more wood. <laughs> it never fucking ends. Well, it will once we can get over the hurdle of having storage for this deluge of shit we're about to have come up, come on our doorstep because we're going to be turning these uh, rocks, and these pebbles and this dust into usable things like gravel and sand and like grout and stuff like that. Oh, where I'm inside and now I'm under, I'm under the tree. Under the tree. Under the tree. Oh, there we go. My brain is rotten. And that's it. My brain is fucking rotten. Uh, we have an extra chest somewhere? Why do I have an extra chest? Oh, no, I, I, I know what I did. Do I? I? I don't actually know what I did, but anyway, this chest can go here. Store normal. To store normie shit. That's not this. Like this 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 initial chet, little storage drawer can kind of just go over here, and what you can do is you can just like this one spot here holds like 32 stacks of one item, so we can just shove all of our leaves in there, and then keep this chest for other stuff that's not as easily sorted. And the best part about all this crap I'm doing right now is these will just be working in the background. Like I don't have to do anything, and these are just kind of. Getting more shit. Getting more shit. Look at all the crap we already have, and then imagine doubling this, because we'll have, we have another set over there. That's... We got some other stuff to knock out first, though. Other things. Chief among them being getting storage stuff going. Like, we're gonna get this crafted and be two by two by two, two drawers, which will be more than enough for storing the garbage we're gonna want to store initially, because we'll put them... Hmm. For now, they'll go right here, because the next step is gonna be using this thing of water that I made earlier to convert all this stuff into other things. Like, if we go to... Uh, this next thing will see mobs. Many different awesome mobs can spawn on your sky bubble unless your platform is well lit. Yeah, 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 whatever. It's not like they're, they're not spawning yet because. Yeah, because I, I apparently just didn't do it right. And these are like challenges. And I think if you complete all these challenges, you can get the thing in the middle here. Yeah. I figured, but. Like, it wants you to collect, like, 128 saplings, 16 mob essence, 32 bread. And it's all for just, it's all just extra stuff. You don't have to do it. But this is the next thing, is this weak enriching water. Which we make another one of these. And then craft some of the stuff we just got into this. And then we can start making this stuff into usable things. Useful usable things. So we're going to need... Some, some leaves, some you, and then another flower. Grab this thing. And then we'll use this thing to make this thing. And then let's go over to this water thing here. Throw it in. It turns this and dust, go in. Get a bunch of stuff. Dust, in, bunch of stuff. Pebbles, more stuff, more stuff. Yay, stuff! <laughs> so that gave us uh, just a bunch of odds and ends. And this waste that we can use eventually for other things. But not yet. Like eventually with like near the end game, it looks like we could probably use this waste to turn it back into useful things. But right now we can't. So 
It's going to just be taking up a bunch of space. But what we can do now is take like all of our little pebbles here. We can put we can we can organize stone pebbles, granite pebbles, diorite pebbles, and then we got like grout, gravel, clay, and sand. So got that all organized. Let's see if we got more stuff to turn into things. We do. And again, just imagine once we get more like the other side of this setup. Alright, so we got another like almost 64 of each to convert, so we're gonna just do that. Sweet. And then we can just go over here, right click each spot. And it's all stored away. Except I guess the grout dust because I wasn't paying attention enough. I don't know. Not sure what happened there, but initially until we can get more wood we're gonna have these drawers hold all this stuff eventually they're gonna get their own drawers like this but for now that's what they have all right first things first though it's got these stone pebbles we can turn these to stone let's make a wooden pickaxe and we can break this stone into cobblestone and then we can make furnaces which unlocks a lot like a lot a lot which we can make torches now with charcoal we can also make clay, which will let us start doing the automating trees thing that I was talking about, too. So, that's actually pretty big. It's pretty nice to have that. I need more wood, regardless, to do whatever I want to do. So, let's get another tree going. Oh, hello. It's a big one. A lot of saplings, a lot of apples, just everything. Okay. See, that alone was like 32 locks. Okay. I should have not done that. Well, let's get another tree grown because I need some logs to make charcoal so that I can not be a doofus. And be cooking stuff with planks, like some scrub. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come. Thank you. Uh, let's grab some more leaves while we're at it. Just 60 leaves for basically nothing. We'll take it. And then we'll get the rest. And we'll get some more saplings. We'll get more apples and sticks and just everything okay yeah that's a, that's a disappointment I probably just will build a big area to fight things in and again maybe I won't worry about that yet because if it really comes that we can just do leaves in here to get bone meal or something all right so let's put you in here two sticks which two sticks will cook this one log into a charcoal surprised there's not a thing for making charcoal no there's not but this is like kind of like the smithing area where you can throw bricks into these bonsai pots which is what we're going to be doing after I get some charcoal made up charcoal so we can start this charcoal because for the immediate time period right now this will be our main fuel source for smelting things but 
very shortly we'll be able to get like a solar powered uh, cooker. Did I just bounce on the bed? <laughs> Buying. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. Um, all right, so the rest of this wood can just kind of go to planks. What am I doing? I, I have a place for you. And again, in the meantime, this stuff has just been making more stuff for us. Which we'll go in and grab all it out and process it. Uh, where is our thing? Yeah, it's over here. Sweet. Bunch of bunch of goodies. Okay, that's done. Put all this all this stuff away. Let's see. It's got a just a uh, an entire like basically Hmm, how many of these do I want? I think up to f I think 40 would be a good amount of cook because I'll make eight of these uh, bonsai pots. And so that's just like that, and we can use the other charcoal we have to make torches, which will let us not have to worry about this area spawning monsters if we run around at night. And these are all lit up. Sweet. Just little incremental like qualities of qualities of life happening all the time. I think initially we'll just set up uh We're gonna need another tree before this is over because <laughs> we're making more hoppers I, I i should i should stop but i can't <laughs> we're just making more hoppers to make this process easier once we get further along to it so grow tree grow oh yeah you heard me and might as well get these leaves Because once we get this tree farm thingy going that I'm doing, the only reason we'll be growing trees here is to get leaves. And even then, eventually, we won't even be doing that because we could just equip something with silk touch into the bonsai pot, which will make it work and get leaves anyway. But that's not yet. Uh, let's we could try giving that stuff a chance to spawn things over there. Nah, I'm not gonna waste my time. At this point, that area over there is a bust. I was so confident, and then it was I was just wrong. I don't know what how it went wrong, but it did. All right, so that gets us that. These are coming along nicely. Okay, more wood. I mean, that's enough to get, like, the first bit set up, really. Because we're going to do something like this. And we'll do, like, this initially. Where's our... There we are. Need two more bricks, and then we can set up the first four of these. The one advantage of living in my in my other place, where there's just like a million slimes, when I kill the slimes, they give you the mob essences, 
which you can use to um, just duplicate mobs things if you have the initial, like if you have a bone you can use four of them and a bone to make five bones. So it's pretty, it was pretty convenient. It made getting bone meal very easy. But for now we'll just have to rely on the old reliable uh, composter here. So we're going to need at least four uh, bone meal because we have to get some dirt. So we'll get that and then we'll just throw the rest of it in the composter to try to get our bone meal. Okay, and we'll just let these passively make some more bone meal while we're at it. Okay, and then we'll go over. Oh, I need the. I had to put these down first, of course. Okay, put those there, and then let's grab some saplings, and these will start just automatically making stuff for us. See, they're growing little trees. <laughs> and once these finish grow, you either um, you can either click this to manually cut them down, or we can act, we can make more uh, these uh, wooden mattocks like this, which I will be doing to uh, automatically have it just do it for you and we'll grow like one more tree out here we could probably get rid of this stuff now because we're not really super worried about growing big trees anymore so if they're if big trees grow then cool but if not then cool too yeah because we'd be mostly doing this in here for the the leaves This last little bit of wood will help us get to where we can just have these just making lots of wood for us for, for free. Again, a thing we don't have to interact with just for all, just, it's just really good. Hmm. I think these axes are technically cheaper, so we'll make it. We'll make four axes instead. It's going to be four planks per axe. So oh, I need more bindings too. More uh, part thingies. Each of these axes is going to take three of these tool um, patterns here. Which means I might end up having to actually need <laughs> another bit of wood, but we'll see. I think I have just enough to kind of scrape by. Like half of these have to turn into axe heads. Okay, and then we need four bindings. And then four handles. Right, and then we'll click that. God, that noise. Damn it. Okay, and then we just shift click the axe in there. And as you see, when the axe gets in there, it, um, it automatically cuts it for us. And there's a little, some, already some stuff in there. It's, it starts off a little slow, but it'll get there. Like, it's just less work for us.
Matter of fact, we can set the other, um... Yeah, we'll just do this. We'll just set this up right here for now. Because, frankly, this space, other than this, isn't going to really be used for anything. So I could just have the tree stuff here anyway. Yeah, it's already getting a little out of hand. <laughs> like, once we get the other four put down, it's... our wood troubles are going to be gone. <laughs> you can also press shift to speed these up, too. If you really think you need to, you can just do this and then... <laughs> Like it's 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 a little silly. All right, so that's the, all the that's all the bone meal we're gonna need. So we'll put one of those back. Let's make some more. We got enough saplings, and honestly, this will also just make extra saplings. So as long as we keep four saplings, we can just use the saplings to craft things. Like saplings make twice as much mulch as the leaves do. So there, that's all the mulch we need already. Okay. Nice. Okay, put that away. Let's see how much stuff that these things have been making. Quite a bit. Like quite a bit indeed. Like let's let's process this junk. Like a bunch of goodies. And we can just right click all the spots and put it all away. We already got a lot of this waste shit that we can't do anything with right now. Uh, oh, we need to make more um, axes. Because these axes will slowly but surely take durability, but it, it they take very little durability from what I've seen. So even these wood ones will just last a long time, and then when they finally do break, you can just use some of the very large amounts of wood they've made to just fix them, and then put them right back in there. <clears throat> okay. So we need... Eight. This for the axe heads. And the eight, like four bindings, and then four handles. All right, and then we'll make four more of these hand axes. Put them in here, and these, and we're off to the races. We got eight of these making wood for us now. As as it is, we already have. Like, just so much, just constantly making stuff for us at this point. We'll, we'll come back to this later in the stream, and these chests will just be full of, like, just wood and sticks and shit. Alright, let, let's see, what's next? Okay, seared bricks, glass, ah. This lets us get to this solar cooker, which is something I, I, I do want to make, because it makes it to where you, like, you set it up, and with the reflectors, and during the day, you'll just make... Uh, it'll just be able to smelt stuff for you for free. No charcoal required. I ended up, I mean, I ended up making one and then using almost that entire, using only that because it was just so, um, convenient to have it just do that. How far along are these durability wise? Okay, they still got plenty of uses left, so it'll be a bit. What we can do is get that other stuff made, since we have a nice 
a good supply of wood now. That doesn't require us to shake our ass for money anymore. Okay, so... Okay, so there are all the, the chests we need. There are all the hoppers. Okay, we need two more, like, that's four more and we need eight more so we need just more let's grab some sticks from our tree farm here like the goofiest little tree farm ever but it's it works really well it's very low very low tech then we'll just make more fences that way and then that all right there's the rest of those hopper things made these strainers you can just put them in really easily as part of my part of me designing them this way is I can just put them in very easily very fast and once these ones run out of uh I'll get the water made for these, because I might as well. And just use leaves, because we have so many leaves. Like, we'll get the water made for these spots, just because, yeah, we might as well while we're at it. Okay, and I need more catalysts, which are grass, flowers, and leaves. And let's see if we can get lucky and just get a bunch of flowers from this. Uh, not quite, but we will fix up and take the grass there. Because we will use that grass for other stuff. In the meantime, let's get another stack of leaves through here. Oh, perfect. All right, so I guess we're there. I think I want to use the bone meal. The bone meal. I'll get us more grass that we'll use for other stuff. We can use these grass to make uh, the flower loot chests or whatever. And we might even just get some flowers by doing this too. I haven't seen any yet, which is weird, but, you know. What can you really do? If there's a chance to for it to happen and it just doesn't happen, what are you supposed to do when it doesn't happen? You just kind of deal with it. Yep, just a bunch of grass, but that's okay. We have so much wood now, we can just make chests on a whim to make these flower loot box thingies. Which got us a sunflower, which is another one of those flowers that you can use to... Uh, the too tall high flower that you can bone meal like this peony is which that's a more direct way to get of getting the flowers but i think you probably overall get more flowers doing the way we're doing now but anyway let's grab this tulip and this oxide daisy for the thing we're trying to craft all right cool 
so that we can get the water in place for these two. All right, so we got that. That's all set up and ready to go on the top side. On the bottom side, it's not yet, but we can really easily do that. Like at this point, we have so much wood, and let's take a look at how much wood. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's already like way too much. More than we'll probably use in the immediate future. And yeah, we're gonna need that, and then we need uh. those chests for the four chests turn these into the wooden hoppers like now we can like use wood with like reckless abandon because we don't have to like do the whole shifting thingy to get wood anymore we can just we just get wood and we can even go a step further and have like stuff pulled from each of these into one <laughs> if we really wanted to do that which I might cuz whatever might as well and what am I what am I doing that's not that's not where that goes Like these ones aren't set up yet, but I might as well put all the hoppers in so that whenever we are do pull the pull the lever cronk. To if I made like eight more hoppers and four more chests, I could have the contents of both of these go into this. Is it worth it? Probably not, but it's kind of kind of cool. Just a little bit of little automation things like that are just kind of satisfying. To my little, to my, my monkey brain, just unga bunga automation. I don't, I don't fucking know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just a nice little brain itch. So let's. So we need eight more. We need. Uh, I mean, technically, we. Hmm. Let me rethink this a little bit because we technically could have. Um, no, we gotta do it this way. For it to really, really be worth our time. Because if we did it like where each of these fit into another hopper, these hoppers only have one slot. So they would get backed up very easily. But if we do it this way, the stuff can just kind of pull from whatever's available until it's empty and then it'll put it into another thing. We could actually do one better by using uh, drawers. Like we make uh, storage drawers for these things. Like I think we do it this way. We can make these storage drawers, which are just even better. And right now, since we're going to get like two things this way anyway, we might as well just set these up and later on when we get better uh, strainer thingies we can um let's see so I need yeah I need eight more hoppers here and it's all thanks to this tree farm that's just giving us so much wood now that we can just do all this stuff much quicker Cause let, let's see, if we do like th this and we put one of those there, we do that and that and then stuff that comes out of these will go into there. I mean, of course not right now because there's just nothing there. But we'll, we'll, we'll be more ab able to immediately see it in action here. I 
Like, we'll just kind of empty these out for now, just kind of put them, everything in there, and then as things come out, they'll get filtered into here. Did I make too many? Oh, no, I didn't. I just didn't send them up over there yet. <laughs> I was like, did I make too many of these damn things somehow? There we go. It's a little dark down here. Let's get a... Oh, you can just put a torch right there and right there. There we go. Perfect. I mean, it's not the case of it needing to be light down here for monsters, but it's just dark. At a glance, you can just see how much crap we have. Granted, we still just do this with a chest. But, I don't know. I just like doing this with these things. It's just kind of cool. Do a sup. Do a sip. I'm going to sip some water like a good plant. Mmm. Tasty. Yeah, the solar cooker is something I quite want. So, for that, we're going to need uh, glass. The only problem with these things is if you don't have, um... I guess you can do it that way. It's not too bad. Like when this finally gets a, uh, a rock, you'll... Nah, we'll just put it back in there. Because if you don't have the, uh, the, the key to lock these drawers like this, like, things can get messed up if you're not careful. Granted, since there's only two options, it's a little um, harder for it to get messed up. And yeah, we got a bunch more stuff now, though, that we're going to convert into goodies that we can use. I mean, you can use these uh, pebbles directly to make, like, cobblestone if you want to, like, directly make stone, which ha is a useful way to do it, too. But, mm, For now, I want to just, uh, what about blank dust? Can you do that? No, you can't do that with blank dust as well. Um, for the moment, we're just going to convert everything like this. And there's even some overflow because it's how much crap we got. Alright, and we got a bunch more of this waste stuff. Put this grass away. Well, funny enough, now the freaking solar thing's not gonna work anyway if we make it, because it's freaking doing sun. It's doing rain and shit, but. Let's just make some. Let's make some glass anyway. As for this grout stuff, we're gonna need a, a good amount of it to get to start doing smeltery things. Which I feel like should go over the sh the the smelt the smeltery should go probably over there. On that note, let's uh, get some more slabs, which we can just make mountains of now. Mm. 
Gotta wait for this to, stuff to kind of do its thing anyway, so. Get this bread! Get this bread! Hey, Ash, welcome back. How was your shower? Hopefully it was good. We, we've got all this stuff set up now because I made this little tree farm over here with these pot things that automatically cuts all these little trees. And now we just have a lot of wood that we can just use on whatever stupid project I want now. Got these little hoppers that slurps the stuff. Nice. That's the best. That's the way to do it. Hell yeah. Alright, so let's get this grout going. If we end up not needing that much grout, then so be it, but yeah, grout. In the meantime, we're going to start making another area over here. Hadn't taken a shower in like two days, so yeah, I, I typically don't remember to, I don't really have time always to take showers every single day, so I usually do it like, I do it at least twice a week, so I'm not like too stinky, but like, yeah. Um, they do. I'm just very bad at getting them to spawn, because this little thing over here is where there's, I was intending to have them spawn at, but I probably made it wrong, so. Because what I have is, like, if I press F7, you should see that, like, the inside here is, like, like, these areas indicate where something should be able to spawn. But I have a feeling I just didn't do it right. Like, these, like, maybe I need more area around here to, like, make the light level lower. Like if we hop like if we hop up inside of one of these I might be able to show it off. Like let's see, if we press F three to see. Yeah, like yeah, if you see this the skylight is like thirteen, even though the it, there's you know it's covered up, so I'm probably gonna have to add more stuff to this to make it work make it work how it's supposed to because <clears throat> ordinarily yes things are supposed to spawn up here it's just I didn't do things either correctly or all the way so we're gonna like start adding more to this now that we have like a limitless supply of wood basically because while I'm goofing off with this stuff those those trees over there are just making more trees, and those little th water filter things are just making more stuff for us to use. So it's just like, this is just like busy work almost. Alright, we'll get up here this way, and we'll just make some more planks. Not sure if this is going to have any effect on it, but...
And we're going to add another layer to each of these. Which should give it another block of distance, so hopefully that will make things where they can start spawning. Maybe? I don't know. One point, I think it's either 1.17 or 1.18 that changed how, how hostiles spawned. Where, like, it's a lot harder to get them to spawn without having, like, a bunch of blocks blocking off the sun or whatever. Unless I'm just doing something wrong, which is very possible. Most of the time when I play modded stuff, they're like old, old ass versions, not like new, newer versions. So it's kind of crunch <laughs> my bones. Break that. Go. Again, don't know if that really did much, but maybe it'll, maybe it will get at least a few more mobs showing up when I'm far farther like back over here. We'll see. We'll stay here for a second while I drink some water. And see if any will show up. Yeah, you know what, we'll just kind of let it happen. If it happens, it happens, but... Mm. I don't want to sit here waste spending time trying to force them to spawn like this. I could probably add another layer to everything on the outside, and that might help, but... Mm. I don't know. Let's get some more wood if we're going to do anything like any cr craziness like that, because, yeah. Anyway, we've got these bricks that we needed. Because that, along with some of this glass, will just start getting into this stuff. Okay, I think it's this. <clears throat> There's that, and then I think it's that. To make that. And then we need a... We need some more. <laughs> but that's okay, because this grout stuff, we have a, lot, a decent amount of it. As it is. So we can just use onesies and twosies of it as we see fit. Let's sleep. I'm over this rain thing. <clears throat> oh, something else I did was down here I set up, like, just this deal. Because, like, these drawers now collect all the stuff out of here. These ones aren't hooked up yet. Because I just haven't got around to it. Atlas knocked me across the screen. It's super effective. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> uh, let's cook up another eight. The furnace here. Awesome. I pres I appreciate that. I. I'm more than happy with that, you know, like, I understand you got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, I think we should, um, like, just add to the entire, like, outer thing. <clears throat> Ooh, 
tell me more. Tell me more, cause there's a there's a there's a new kind of Korean steakhouse place in town where like you cook your own stuff, or they can cook it for you if you really want them to, and it's pretty freaking sweet. Like it's 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 awesome. It's real good stuff. Korean, yeah, I'm 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 kind of drooling too. It's just, mm. yeah, ugh. Oh, oh the oh the baby, yeah, that's. Mm, 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 mm. If it wasn't so expensive going there, I'd be like, hey, roommate, we're going there, we're going there tomorrow, but it's really expensive. Really good though, like super worth the money. Just a lot. Of, it's just not cheap. <laughs> We're working on our, our way from around the back. Oh, yeah, that's how it goes. You go to, like, one place, it's amazing, and then you're just like, I need to have that again. I need to, f I need that, I need to chase that high. <laughs> I think it might also help if we, like, plug up this stuff, too. It'll at least make me feel better. It might not actually affect anything, but that's okay. Oh, the, the mostly for the aquarium. I mean, that's that's valid too, because those things are kind of just cool, you know. Like, all right, let's just get up here and start. Damn it! No. Yeah, that that sounds about right. Mm. Conventions and then going to like, yeah, like you go to a con now, you're probably you're kind of like risking your fucking life because COVID, and you probably shouldn't. But mm, whatever. I understand some people ha that's how they make their money, like they do art or whatever. Like I get it, but like just, ugh. it's probably a it's a bad time to be in. Yeah, I haven't been I haven't been to a con since uh, M uh, MFF in 2019. That was the last con I went to, I think. Yeah, no kidding. Like I I live in I live in Springfield, so it's like three hours away at least. So like, maybe next year if it's like safer. Yeah, because 2020, it, the shit hit the fan. <laughs> Alright. I'm hoping adding this extra ring of blocks around stuff makes it darker inside to where things can start showing up, because they currently are not spawning at all. I yeah I did too actually funny enough like other than MFF I think I like met up with a friend or something in Chicago uh, let's see yeah we'll do another like bit more stuff just to kind of Ah, well, yeah. That sucks, too. It's like you kind of, like, don't have a... I mean... Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of places that are... It's not hard for it to be safer than Florida. Florida is a fucking mad zone. Alright, let's check our light levels now. I don't know if that made any difference. I'm going to stop trying. 
Like, I'm just gonna s stop. Like, it's not worth it at this point messing with this thing, whatever the hell it's supposed to be. I've done things like this in the past, but that was in older versions of Minecraft with different spawning rules, so it's, pro I pro it's probably just me being a boomer. <laughs> just a Minecraft boomer. Boomercraft! Before there was a nether! <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll let that just do its own thing. Maybe, maybe it'll fix, maybe it'll spawn stuff now? I don't know, and I don't... don't no, I'm not playing RL Craft. If I wanted to play RL Craft, I would just go outside and, like, take a rock and smash myself in the balls. <laughs> I think I'd be more productive than playing RL Craft. By just a little bit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the freaking sun cooker. That's what I'm trying to trying to make here is one of these solar cookers. Yeah, it's I've I've seen people try to play that and it just does not look fun. Like there's a difference between like difficulty and just like cheap horse shit. And RL Craft's definitely the cheap horse shit bit. Yeah, it's just like. Mm. Like, if I wanted to play a game where you just, like, get killed really cheaply out of nowhere, I'd play Dark Souls. <laughs> Which at least has the benefit of being a decent game, I guess, but it's not really for me. Okay, so we, we, we made the solar cooker. And it, it will currently cook things for us, but it's a little slow, so we're going to be working to get mirrors. Or reflectors, rather. Yeah, Isaac 2 is just a little much for me. Like, it just seems a little tedious. Not that it's like a bad game or anything, it's just no thank you. Yeah, we can use a solar cooker to cook the sand we're going to be using to, uh... It's a little slow, but it uses the power of the sun. It's like Capri Sun. <laughs> Unleash the power of the sun. Contains 5% juice. We can at least make some of these. Which will speed this up a little bit. And then once this one... It's not at full smelting uh, speed for the furnace, but once we get the once we get the fourth uh, mirror, the little fourth dude on there, it should be faster. I'm supposed to just so I can be lazy, because during the, during the daytime I could just like place a uh, a stack of like sand or something in here and then let it cook and then. Just leave it there, and it'll just eventually cook on its own. It's just convenient, really. But it's about to be nighttime, so the sun's gonna run. No, please! Don't do this to me! Okay. <laughs> I was gonna be really like, oh, no, not like this. Okay. We're gonna see if this thing's gonna spawn some enemies now. Like, we'll come on, come on, kind of come over here and let the nighttime happen. Because I am frustrated with that thing. I'm just a teensy bit frustrated. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I want to try to ever eat spam ever again since I don't eat pork. <laughs> I'm just like, mm, yeah, no, that's definitely got pig in there somewhere. Ah, I see. Oh, wait. Something appeared. I think I was a little too far away for stuff to 
reasonably appear fast, but there's a creeper over there. So it technically works, I think. Like a hot dog. I mean, creepers kind of look like hot dogs. I mean, we're gonna go shish kebab this bastard with my medic here. Come here, hot dog. Let's kind of slide in here like this so it can't see me. And we'll just stab its little feeties. Well, this thing, this weapon sucks. Well, it's not really a weapon. Oh, man. <laughs> Got him. Thing is, I don't know if it was because, like, they, I don't know if it's because it's dark enough at night or what the reason is, but, oh, we're just gonna, Let's see, is there any other way to get a bone other than mobs? If you can get to the nether, um, ham, which I think you get if you, kill an aminal. You can cut bones off of ske skeleton things with a cleaver, it looks like. Oh, baby skeleton, I hate you. They're very small and fast and awful. Oh, another, we got another critter that showed up. Who do we have here? Oh, we got two of them. Two of them. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a better weapon. This sucks shit. <laughs> but hey, that's fine. We got some bones. It's the only one I really care about. Let's sleep. I don't know if it has to be night for them to spawn in my contraption, but at least something is spawning now. I think it was like kind of over here and it showed up. Anyway, let's. We'll get more of this mob essence when we go to. Because there's like dimensions you have to go to to get progression stuff. And we'll get more mob essence, I promise. So we're, we're not going to worry too much about that. We need at least one bone for the future, I think. Let's make another reflector. And that makes this setup. It should be about the same speed as a normal furnace. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, our Matic is dead. <laughs> Maybe that's why it wasn't doing much damage. Alright, we're gonna move this somewhere else. Like... In here, over here, I guess. I don't know. Because over here, I want to have two of these things set up so that we can just cook stuff. Computer's like, okay. I mean, I'll be here. At least for a little bit longer. Until it's dinner time and all that fun stuff. Alrighty. Okay. We got this guy. Let's see. I'm trying to like do an exact amount of like whatever I need so I don't because eventually we're gonna be able to make turn each of these grout into two bricks instead of just one, so it'll be more effective. So we're gonna try to just get that going. We can use sticks to power this um smeltery thingy that we're working on. Just just slurped it up like this thing we're making now we can put sticks in it and which which is nice because we got a lot of damn sticks uh, so for now just kind of shove it right there and this guy can go right here 
and oh we're going to be able to get into the very beginning of create stuff too so we're going to need another we need to finish off whatever place that place over there i got i got distracted by i can't remember what it was but it was it was something <laughs> and it, it it took over my brain like a virus <laughs> Uh, let's get some of this going. Uh, Okie dokie. Oh, it looks like these they finally all ran out of their stuff. So we can uh, do, all, do, do the processing for that real quick. That's a lot of that's a lot of junk. And that's just from having eight of these running, not all sixteen. So the next time we're doing this, we're gonna have a lot. But the next time we're doing this, we're probably going to be using the next level up of filter, so we're going to have to adjust things accordingly. For now, we're going to just convert all this stuff. We'll just toss it in this wa this brown water. I must have not thrown it high enough. Alright. <laughs> Let's store all this junk away that will fit. As if some of those uh, drawers might be, f drawer slots might be full already. Because there's just a lot. Yeah, like we, we've got just a lot of stuff, so we're probably gonna need to just. Alright, how much wood do we have? Too much wood. Way too much already. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like we're gonna make uh, dedicated drawers for all these things. Like I was saying that you um, we're gonna have those eventually. Well, that eventually is gonna be now because we there's just too much stuff. Uh, we'll. Where was that? over there? Okay. Oh jeez. Set, diorite, granite, stone. Stone. Because yeah, each of these slots could, and this one can only hold eight stacks, but each of these drawers can hold 32 stacks. At some point, we'll move these, like, over here somewhere, but... Yeah, we're, uh... And then we need to make one for all this waste stuff, because it's just kind of clogging up my storage otherwise. Waste. What a waste. <laughs> this is advanced Minecrafting. <laughs> 
I mean, that's definitely a valid way to pl play Minecraft. This is just, like, these uh, mod packs are more geared towards, like, per people that like progression and, like, doing weird shit. And that's, like, me. Like, I'm fine I'm fine doing the, r the wandering around in the forest and just building a house thing, too. But at some point, I get bored of that, and I'm like, I need something to do. And this gives me something to do. <laughs> All right, let's get these out of the way because they're no longer necessary to be here. Some Skyfall sacrifices. No sacrifices yet, but we're, we'll get there. <laughs> Alrighty, so this area needs build built up some more because we're gonna be using that for Was it the smeltery I think yeah, I think that was gonna be the smeltery Either that's gonna be the smeltery. That's gonna be where the create stuff goes Thank you. Thank you enjoy your food. I'll be getting food and I'll, I'll probably be stopping to do dinner like either at four or five and then after that, we'll be doing more of this because I'm just, I just want to. <laughs> so. I think I want to have the smeltery over there. And then maybe over there, I can have the, uh, the create factory stuff. Or maybe I can have the crate factor stuff over there and have this middle place be like my house or like storage room or whatever. But I need to just get more more stuff put down. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Give me the plank slabs back, thank you. I like building stuff out in these kind of like grid like things like this because it makes it a lot really easy to plan what's gonna be where, like which one's gonna be for what. And this makes it easier to build so I don't have to worry about. Well, how am I going to build this one? The answer is, just build a fucking grid. You, you goober. <laughs> okay, goober. <laughs> More ginger ale. I didn't actually drink too much of it. My bottle I have. Uh, tasty. Excuse me. Now I'm burpy. Not the exercise. <laughs> the action. Well, I guess not the exercise, but the bodily function. Because I'll tell you, burpees are most certainly an action. <laughs> it's not like a natural one. Like, they're designed to make your body hate itself <laughs> you forgive me oh oh thank god i don't know i was gonna live with myself <laughs> uh let's get some more of these fucking slabs these fucking slabs because we just need a lot of we just need a lot of real estate for all this crap we gotta do And these, these slabs like this are the best way to do it.
<clears throat> Are you excited about that new Dragon Quest in the game that's coming out, Neki? Oh, no, I think it's the ninth that comes out. It's like the Dragon Quest Treasures or something. It looks, it looks and sounds pretty cool, so I'm, I'll probably end up getting it and um, string it after I beat uh, Dragon Quest VIII. It's because it sounds kind of fun. With, like, Mia and Eric going around finding treasure. I figured that might be on your radar since you are also a fan of Dragon Quest stuff. Maybe specifically builders, but that still counts. You know, I'll probably end up making an underground part for most of these things. So I'll just leave it there. We'll be able to get it back at some point. Video matters. Yeah, Befriending Monsters is fun. It kind of almost feels like a new uh, Monsters title as opposed to like some whatever it's supposed to be. Because like you'll be able to like travel around with a group of monsters and they'll help you find treasure. And I am... Uh, that sounds like a great time. Oh, damn it. Howdy heckin' do. Alright, let's get some more slabs. Which is very easy considering how much wood just exists. It's just so much wood. Like, I can just grab stuff and just do this and not have to worry about, oh, I'm gonna have to get more wood because no the fuck I'm not. Look at all this shit. <laughs> this is just making, making so much wood. I'm never gonna use it all. I mean, maybe I would, but like, there's just so much. Even with me making mistakes like that, it just does not matter anymore. Hello, Hachiko. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ooh, sweet. Fuck yeah, you're gonna be doing more streams and more art and everything with that now, I bet. Hachiko enters the building. Hell yeah. We are playing a new uh, new mod pack that I was I in the past was playing that one caveman kind of one but this is a different one <laughs> we're in the sky as you might be able to tell we're just kind of in free floating in the sky so we're working on building up some infrastructure like some build some like platforms to do stuff on there, there's really just too fucking many. Unfortunately, not many of them are super good, but so far this seems to be one of the ones that is. The other one I was going to play instead of this one initially is also a good one, but this one just kind of just stuck out. So I was like, you know, let's play this one. Because the progression system is different than normal Skyblock, and it's different from normal Minecraft too. So... It just seemed like a fun time. Okay, so next on our list here, they're gonna want us to make andesite alloys, which is gonna involve melting grout into here and then pouring that over andesite. So we're gonna need like seven more grout smelted up. Do I have any in here? No, I don't. Here it is. So I need like, I need 10 more of this. And we'll just put this in my little smelter here, just a solar cooker, just 
Uh, it's like Sunny D, but good. <laughs> I'm sure I'm, I'm sure somebody would argue with me that Sunny D is good, and it's like, mm, sure. <laughs> Cool thing about the solar cooker is it just Sunny D is interesting. I <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't necessarily argue good either, but it's definitely um something you can put in your body. Like a substance that goes in your body and won't kill you immediately. Yeah, it's like it's like astronaut soda. <laughs> <laughs> it's a daddy soda for space. <laughs> you, you're absolutely right. Just b becoming one with the slime mold as it expands and covers your mouth. Okay, let's get some more sand going. I thought I had more glass, but I must have used it or something. I think I used all of it. I think I like just barely had enough glass to make this whole thing. So while we're doing stuff with this grout here, we'll uh, smelt some more glass. Okay, so faucets, and then we need one of these at minimum. Okay, and for now this thing's gonna go here. And we need to get some, some andesite going too, because we'll be using that to put that there. Just put away a bunch of wood. I need I need it now. We're gonna make a wooden hopper. Have it feeding into this guy, and we can put all of our andesite in there. And let's melt some of this um, grout down with our little our little heater down here. Is burning sticks to heat up this grout and this, this melter here. Okay, and it turns into steer, seared stone blocks. We'll pour that onto there gets our insight alloy that we'll need to start doing create and with this hopper here just keeps putting the stuff in there it's just just a li just little bits of automation to make things less annoying Create's actually a really fun mod. It like it starts out let you use like water wheels and shit to make like rotational power and then you make like a mill and just good good times. I am quite a fan. Like one of of the new of the newer age Minecraft mods, like cuz like a lot of like older mods just have kind of went out of favor cuz the people that made them just stopped making them. Of some of like the newer wave of mods, like creates a pretty good, pretty good one. Quite like it. You get a lot of cool stuff with it. Yeah, but back in the stone, back in the literal stone age, there's like there's like a few like big mods. Yeah, but this one like with create, you can. Well, we're gonna. We'll see. Let's look at this. Uh, like already with this we can make stuff that um like these shoots here you can use those to like like if we made one of those I'm not gonna make a shoot yet but if with those shoots we could put them on these things like these these uh dudes here that are making the nuggets every once in a while when we have the things in there and then all the stuff that comes out then we'll just get sh just shat right out 
And we could, if you really wanted to, you could have them automatically drop their stuff into the pool of water to make things. To, like, automatically do stuff. But that's not here nor there because we're not there yet. What we are going to do is make another one of these. Okay, so we'll put you there. And we need four of these, which means I need more slabs. That's okay. Let's get that. Okay, and I need six more glass. And I'm just lazy, so I, I, I like making these these uh, solar cookers because they just like even this little simple mod here. Like it's it, this is its own self-contained mod where like it's a furnace that uses the power of the sun to cook the stuff for you. That's all it does, but that's all it needs to do because that's just what it is. And it's part of this mod pack where there's how many mods this one have? Uh, this one has. Let's see. Where, oh, where? Should be a thing here somewhere that says how many mods are loaded. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, not sure. And uh, at least in SevTech, whenever I did that, it showed off how many mods were in the mod pack. But there's there's a decent amount in here. Alright. So now we can uh, put you there. And there. And now we got another fully set up solar cooker. So if we just... get a bunch more sand we can make a bunch more glass for later because whatever and then we can just kind of put that in there and just forget about it and they'll just make it and then whenever it's done the chest will close which is pretty convenient actually okay so yeah there's that and shafts let's make some shafts actually make a few more shafts actually because you know what you want you want a good amount of shafts around you <laughs> shafts are a good thing to have around all right so first things first we're gonna make uh, some water wheels Like this thing is like, oh, make some cogwheels. We'll do that because we'll, we'll need some. Okay. Uh, like this and like this gets us some water wheels. I can't remember which one I said was going to be the smeltery at this point. Uh, we should probably just make it this one for the smeltery. So we'll bookmark this one. We'll earmark this one over here for create. I think I need this up just a little higher. Yeah, we'll have those there. It's kind of OK. 
Okay, so now we need to... Well, we're going to get another uh, crafting table to have over in that area because we're probably going to want it. So make some more of these. Let's make a crafting table and then that. Put that over there. That's probably the wrong spot, actually. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I just wildly throwing patterns across, like fr like fr like freaking AOL CDs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so got these. What we're gonna do with the rest of these four alloys? Actually, we need to grab some logs. And let's place these down. Okay, I don't think this tool can do it, but we're probably going to make a uh, something out of stone instead. Uh, these are, that's andesite, so let's grab stone. We'll let's grab, no, huh. let's not craft sticks, because this setup over here just has so many sticks we might as well just, just use some there's gonna be way too many okay so can I okay I can okay I can just use the stone directly okay we're gonna do that again because what we're going to be making are these uh, are all-in-one tools. Can't remember. There's a certain okay. Which are pretty good weapons, and also they can break anything basically that their tool level can do. Like they they work as an axe, a shovel, and a pickaxe. So they're pretty handy. And what we're going to do with this one is now we have a proper axe. We can we can um, strip these logs and. Put the thing on there, and now we have these andesite casings, which we'll be using some very shortly to make a gearbox. Ah, we can. They want us to make the mill, which is admittedly kind of what I want to be making anyway. Uh, polished deer. Okay, probably it probably just uses like a normal stone. Oh, that just finished. <laughs> See the chest closed when it was done. It's like okay, fine, I'm done. <laughs> All right, so crack my crack my knuckles. Uh, okay, casing, cogwheel, stone. Okay. Cog wheel, stone, and then one of these casings here. Okay, that is the mill. That is our first uh, kinetic energy sort of like utilizer kind of deal. Let's we'll flip this to a vertical gearbox. I need to, <laughs> it's like, I have to like use stuff to get up where I need to go. So like, we're going to use slabs to kind of like make some level ground around here so I can climb up on, climb up on stuff so I can get, so I can get to the cookies on top of the cabinet. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and these, cause we're going to be getting some water to put there so we're gonna oh, I fell in I've fallen I can't get up all right yeah let's sleep I need to get some torches made for over here but the but the great thing of these uh, solar solar kiln solar cookers is they can also make charcoal. Just 
So we're gonna be doing that for at least a stack of this these logs we have. Just just gonna put them in here and just kind of let let them go. In the meantime, we're gonna make some torches so we can not have shit spawn in our new little factory over here that we're working on. We'll have like torch there. There and we'll have one there. That should be plenty of light for right now. <clears throat> I, I gotta find some place to move this shit at some point. Okay, and then I probably need 12 grass as well, and then I need some flowers. Which I'll get from making another flower, like, flower chest thing. It's kind of like a loot box, but for flowers. Oh, it's a flower loot box, yeah, exactly. And that should give it, ooh, a wither rose. That's actually a really nice one to find. We're not gonna... We're, we're not gonna um, use that one. <laughs> we'll use a different one. Like we'll use this white tulip instead of the wither rose. The wither rose automatically hurts stuff that lands that gets near it. I think horrible little things should be alone. I disagree. <laughs> I I respectfully dis disagree. Okay, make these aqua catalysts. Alrighty, got those made, and let's, do I have any more, no. I mean, I'm already a, an, a horrible little thing, so I don't need it, I don't need any more, I don't need any help in the factory, being a little monster. Alright, so, let's get up here. Place the, this mulch down, turn these into water, and the water, the water wheel is going. It's 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 really going. It's spinning. hear my cat meowing to himself while he's drinking water in the other room because he's a little disaster okay we need we need at least a few um, of these other little cog wheels because we're gonna we're gonna be doing a it's not like an exploit it's like part of it's like a, a it's it's a um, intentional part of the uh, mechanics how the stuff works is you get a big cog wheel taking the power the speed of whatever input is you have it turning a smaller one which increases how fast the small one turns and then you make a gearbox to take that power and keep doing that until you ha go have it as fast as you want it to go it's a little silly I might have to go make some more andesite stuff Plus, just the gears moving just is cool. I like, I like them. They're just going wee. <laughs> All right, then we'll use our our currently our last andesite casing to make another gearbox. Put that one there. And let's use our last guy there. <laughs> Shit's fucking flying. Hmm. Actually, I don't think that's where I want that one to go. 
This might need to be. We're gonna flip this to a uh, a vertical gearbox. Put that there, and we'll use this to make another gear like that, and then we'll attach this. And this millstone now works as as it, as it is intended. So what we can do with that, very importantly, I have one of these organic seeds. We get like 12 of this, uh, these leaves, makes leaf string, make green wool, and we can put the green wool in our mill here. Okay, don't. Don't fucking make, make me have to be a liar. Okay. I know we can put it in there. Maybe I have to have the, uh... The, uh... Little wood hopper in place first. So we need to make another one of those. Let's take all this wood out. Need so many of these damn things. Might as well just go ahead and make the rest of the setup for this too. Because we need it we need two wood hoppers. And two chests to get this kind of going. Oh, almost went the wrong way and just jumped right into the void. Like a fool. He he likes to do that. He just goes meow 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 like a little goober. He is a blessed little guy, but like, wow, 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 yeah, he, he do that. He does that a lot. All right, so let's kind of hop up here, place that down, and then we'll get, we'll climb our monstrosity over here so we can kind of get around. <clears throat> okay, we'll put a torch up here. Just looks kind of funny. It's just a torch, torch on top of a little spinning dude little spin dude and now we should be able to put stuff in here and it grinds it up and now we have string which we can combine with this to make flax seeds and then we can use our gl glorious ass to just bring a whole bunch of flax seeds into the world just gonna put that there like case and point where's our where do we go it's over here with the other garbage isn't it yeah it's over here If we need string, which we're gonna need string, let's. We can just come over here. Just press shift a whole bunch. And then take our flax over here that we just ma basically just create out of fucking thin air. Just put in there and flax will turn into like I think one to three string each. Yeah, it's like one string and then like a 25% chance to get two more. Consequentially, we're probably gonna set up like a farm the dedicated like normal like minecraft farm like maybe over here somewhere in this little area because the trees can be right here but like we kind of just need an actual farm spot but for that we're also gonna probably need more uh can i use these oh i can use those so any extra seeds we have from this shit can go in here but we might just hold off on doing that for now until we know exactly what we need. Because th getting this 
part down here will get us to where we can go uh, to the Undergarden, which is a really cool place that we want to get to ASAP. Because doing, doing that, we'll be able to get lava and other cool stuff. And just fight critters. Just fight monsters and get armor. and It's, it's going to be good. Probably a little more interesting than me just, I don't know, running around in circles up here like I have been doing. Uh, sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> oh, yeah, it th closed because it was nighttime and it wasn't cooking anything, but now it's just cooking some more. Yeah, let's see. Our short little trip to the flax area over there got us 20 string, which is five of the, f the filters for this crap. Hmm. Might end up turning the smeltery into like this area right here. Because I could just break this stuff and move it around, move it somewhere else. Yeah, and then we can make this sort of storage room slash home or whatever. A smelting. Drawer control. We want one of those. A one by one drawer with some, uh, with four grout, well, two grout worth in there. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, I think I'll be playing Spotify after, uh, for the next uh, stream later. Yeah, let's get this drawer controller, because these drawer controllers are cool, because if they're connected to any of these, like, drawers like this, you can right-click, uh, you can right-click the drawer controller, and anything that you have in your inventory that fits in any of these will just all get put away. It's really, really good. So on that note, let's get inventory kind of cleared out a little bit and we'll... Kind of just scoop these up. And we'll mo start moving, start moving house. Okay. I don't know what is in each drawer. Lots of leaves. We'll, we'll move them around as I figure out what what is where. Okay, so that one goes there. Okay, that can go there, sure. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> he just goes, my wow. <laughs> I'm almost convinced he's like part. Siamese or something. He's 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 a cat I got from the, the shelter. So I, so who even knows? But like, hi. He's very adorable, but he's also a terror. <laughs> 
transform. Okay, let's press the seven key on my keyboard. Yeah! <laughs> That's what it means. My chest opens up. <laughs> it open. Please close your guts. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that does. I get a, I get a little more cursed. There's no there's no possible way I'm gonna really be able to translate this to like a 3D model if I ever get one. So I'll probably just go like full full time just gut guts out butts out guts out. You know. <laughs> I'm just deathly afraid of how much that would cost. <laughs> no, I do not know. <laughs> That's fair. I'm just afraid of the, the the amount of money it would cost to... My butt is in, my guts are in. Well, my guts are in. They are inside. <laughs> Uh, well, oh, I think I was gonna work on making some more of these so that I could store just a bunch of garbage safely away. Yeah, we're gonna just make a, a goodly amount of these drawers. And then we can put this guy here. And, like, let's say we grab, like, just some random garbage. And we right click. If it has a home, it all goes in there. It's really convenient. I, I am quite a fan. So we could probably add this drawer to the freaking lot of them, too. Place this one here with the uh, waste drawer. There we go. Okay, let's see what's next here. <clears throat> All that stuff's done. Let's do crate stuff. Flint from milling gravel. Okay, so we need to mill some gravel. Otherwise, we haven't really used any of the gravel yet, so that's fine by me. We'll craft one up there, and then we'll do that, and then we'll just put this through the mill here. Now we need, need to make it a mechanical mixer, which is more stuff. We're probably going to need to make some more of these andesoy. Andesoy. <laughs> andesoy. <laughs> Put that away. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to move at some point, but not right now. It's fine where it is. Okay, poor... Poor... <clears throat> yeah, we're 
we're gonna need some more of these. We're probably also gonna need more casings too. Let's just grab a bunch of these logs from here. And we'll probably dedicate one of these drawers just to holding logs. Like probably just this one. Let's grab <laughs> like these four these these little guys these little guys are just making so much wood. It's silly. It's like just so much. Like what well, after we set this up we just have had never been, have not been wanting for wood like since and it's 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 really nice. And that drawer is probably full now. Yeah, it's definitely full. So in that case we'll turn logs into planks and store those. <clears throat> we can also move our bed now into here cuz it's kind of like going to be like our bedroom in a sense. I don't know if I quite like that, but oh well. So, ah yes, I was gonna make the uh... strip those and then just just slam dunk these in there. Just pop, 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 pop. What is it to make these organic seeds again? Saplings and leaves? Okay. We're going to move the logs over. <laughs> Just logs everywhere. We're going to move those over, over here. And we'll move these up by one. We'll have saplings go in here. Whee! We're gonna probably make at least two of these uh, organic seeds here. Now let's look at our uh, organic stuff thing. We're gonna want sugar cane and then we're gonna want to make bamboo. And so I think you need a sapling for that. Yep. Um. Videos. Like I just know there's a very gentle like weirdness going on there for the uh, like every once in a while it just kind of like does silly stuff. Uh, let's turn particles to decreased in case that's causing part of the problem. Maybe it is. I don't. I don't know. But I just noticed a very little bit of weirdness there. Okay, we got sugar cane. Let's uh, find somewhere to kind of just grow some real quick. And I need to make another uh, mulch and another dirt. Okay, we'll do that. Well, we have another dirt here. We can just take. Oh! Excuse me, what? Where did this come from? Is that always there? Huh. Well? Huh. Well, that makes things a little simpler for some stuff. Let's see. We don't have that yet. Bubba. Hi. I legitimately did not know this was here. Interesting. I mean, now that it's super game breaking, like, I don't know if you can really. Okay, the only way you can really get these name tags is from, like, dungeons, it looks like, but. Or trades, so. I don't know if we really need it, but we'll just kind of put it away. And what we're, what we're gonna be doing 
to get the saddle is what we're about to start doing, so it's not really that in the world. That's that's just convenience, so I'm not really that bothered about this situation. Oh shit! Uh, just real, I just about had all that stuff fall into the void because I forgot I didn't finish <laughs> that uh, construction down there that I was gonna do. I was gonna put stuff underneath all of that. Hi. He's just looking at me weird. Okay, let's carefully walk around the hole, the gaping hole. <laughs> make like a whole bunch this mushroom ball is kind of nice because it'll save us a little time but not really that much it'll make more sense when we get to the undergarden and start doing stuff there because yeah we got to go there to get some plants and stuff that we can't otherwise get easily we got to go fight some critters and we're gonna like do some dungeon crawling Yeah. <laughs> he's a little he's a little goop, a little goofy man. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. Uh he 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 is a little kitty cat. Three, four, five, six. Like, I'm bad at counting, like, I'm, I'm bad at counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah? He's just, he's just looking at me. He's just sitting there staring at me. Yeah, I don't I want to build this area up down here. I should have finished it earlier, especially after we got the the tree farm going. Cuz we just have like ungodly amounts of wood now. So there's no reason not to just finish it up. Especially since I'm going to eventually be putting the smeltery here, I I will want something down here in case I break something or need to move stuff around. Let's make some more uh, slabs. That's probably more than enough, and I just realized I had some some leftover in my bag because, well. Yeah, I did. I realized that after after I already went back upstairs. done but I like having this safety railing so I don't like make do something goofy and fall off cuz I'm liable to I'll tell you that it would not be I would not put it past me <laughs> There we go. It, it's now Mavis proof. <laughs> oh. 
I'll see if you'll sit at my lap, buddy. He does. He has a very squeaky door. <laughs> Smooching his goofy little head. No, you can't get on my desk. That's that's no it's the no cat zone. He's he's staring pretty intently at it though. I don't know if he's purring loud enough for y'all to hear, but he's purring pretty loud for me to hear. <laughs> he mostly wants on my desk because I have a, I have like this. Um, Belvita like breakfast thing that I hadn't finished yet on my desk from earlier today and he's like I'm a I'm a trash creature I want to eat it <laughs> understandable but no <laughs> the beast demands cheese product <laughs> he demands something Right now is kitty breakfast. <laughs> it's the breakfast for cats, and I guess people too. I guess people are allowed to eat the food. All right, downtime. Okay. All right, he has he has left the premises for now. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back in like five minutes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> This is almost certainly done grinding up all that flint now, so that's cool. Yeah, the whole tangent was me just trying to like get a, just a, just a crumb of uh. And we'll just kind of put dirt here, I guess, to. Wiggle our ass at the sugar cane. We'll get more later, but I just needed a little bit for now. Okay. And then we can turn one of these sugar canes with this organic seed into bamboo. And with the bamboo, we can, well, we can grow it really easily he's back wasn't even five minutes he has such a little cute face all right let's break this bamboo all right we're just gonna plant one of these over here we'll, we'll just Get a bunch of it for now. 
And then we'll leave one just kind of in the ground in case I mess up and somehow, like, Okay, that should be enough bamboo for now. <laughs> Probably a little too much, honestly, but yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Matter of fact, we need to be getting more flax wherever I put that shit. Okay, it's over here. We need to get more flax. Let's get a little bit more, because I'm going to be making some stuff for these, because we're going to make these uh, cert these uh, specific uh, fishing things that will filter, try to filter up fish and like saddles and stuff from the water, but we need to crush up this flax first. It's actually working pr a bit quicker than I was expecting it to, because we can like hold shift to watch how much flax is left in there. All right, hey, uh, nice. Okay, we're gonna get four of these and use bamboo instead of sticks. And with these, that requires bait. Blech. How do we make bait? I can't remember. make a garden trowel it looks like to try to oh stinky little man oh. Oh. he's a little he's a little hyperactive as always I may have overlooked the fact that these need bait. And to get bait, we need a, uh, what is a worm bin? How do we make one of those? Three composters. I'll bite. I'll, we could try it out. I have not before, so we can just give it a shot. Makes you want makes you want to play Dragon Quest Builder Two. 
I need to get around to playing that at some point, but there's just way too much stuff to always be playing all the time. Oh, wow, that took really fast. What is fertilizer used for? Probably bone meal, but... Okay. So we can just... I wonder if that works for... Uh... I would assume that would work for... Um... Beetroots are wheat seeds plus organic. Okay, we're going to start down the daisy chain of this crap now getting other seeds okay so we got a beetroot seed a beetroot seed a beetroot seed <laughs> the seed is made of beetroot hmm I am curious to see if like this trial thing that I can make will just like if we can just do something like this and did I get all oh I did get all the I did get all the freaking dirt back all right let's find some worms Only one worm that time. Well, at the very least, we can have a, like at least one or two of these going. I'm probably gonna have to switch up the uh, one of the uh, things down here for a chest instead. For now, we'll have this one be a, uh... This whole situation here. Ah, one catch per uh, worm. Well, enjoy, I guess. We're, we're gonna set up a, a slightly bigger growing area here for just random garbage so we can get more string while we get other stuff too so I feel like that's just a good I, I feel like that's a good idea and then we can get all this bamboo put away in here because we're not gonna need that much slippy slippy time all right Let's put the organs away. There we go. <laughs> organs deposited. <laughs> I could turn my monitor back on. <laughs> that might help. Um, now, if that did actually bother you, I apologize, and I can I should I could would have turned it off of off way sooner. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay. <laughs> I just want I just wanted to make sure I wasn't actually causing you a problem because that's not really what I'm out to do. I just think the organs, internal organs and like teeth things cool for like a kind of cryptid kind of creature. Uh, let's see. Hell yeah. That's what I'm really games like no, you don't you don't get a birthday this year. All right, so All right, so we then use that on rice. And I do whew, I do want to retain a rice. So we'll do that, make it extra rice and All right, so let me look at this thing here. Sweet berries is a beetroot plus organic seeds. That's what I was kind of thinking. Okay, so organic seeds, sweet berry. Get some extras of those. Get a carrot. Okay, and then we can get potatoes that way, which I guess I might as well do while we're at it. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Just so if I need a potato for some fucking reason, I get I have a potato. I can just kind of twerk, twerk it out a little over here, get everything grown, and then just uh, pick it all, then just do it again. Okay, and I get it's. I think it's per item you get the. Uh, We'll just put all this other random stuff in there. We'll figure it out later. Can I use seeds to in the worm bin here? No. I could pro can I use you? No, I can't use you either. Uh, what is fertilizer? I'm, I'm guessing that you can use fertilizer as like bone meal, but let's turn potatoes. Oh, it, it's not a one for one. Apples, it is, because I guess apples are worth more value or some something. Oh, there's a chance. Wait, why are, why are carrots better? You know what? Screw it. We'll switch to, we'll switch to carrots, I guess. I was thinking potatoes would be, be would be better, but shows the fuck I know. The answer is nothing. I know nothing. Now let's try getting some more wimes. There we go. And we'll just kind of sl slam dunk those in here. Creative bait. Uh, hmm. Now what about this worm pot thing I was looking at? 
or bait pot. What is that? Oh, well, can't get that yet because I don't have access to that, so we'll just have to suffer quietly with worms. Let's see what if we got anything cool so far. Oh, we got some fish. That's pretty cool. Nummy nummy, let's cook that. Have some actual real food that's not just potatoes. How the fish got here, I don't know, and I'm not going to ask. It's not my business. Especially the salmon. How the hell did they get up here? <laughs> I mean, th they... Yes, yeah, salmon, salmon jump, but I... I have a feeling that I don't know if they would jump this high. It seems a little high for them to jump. Like that's like an incredibly talented salmon if it got all the way up here. Anyway, in the meantime, we can grind up more of this flax to more of these. Put that away. That away. We're gonna make a chest over here just for this kind of stuff, like these wheat, these cog wheels, and all that kind of stuff. Just to try to stay a little more organized. Well, <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, we could put this. We could put this saddle, one saddle we have through here, and that there's a 50, there's a fifty percent chance we get four leather from it. Which is the only way we can currently get leather. Oh, we did. No, oh, no, we didn't get four. We got three. That's completely worthless. Because we need four to make a bag for this next place, the, the first dimension we can go to. Having a bag to haul back all the loot would be extremely good. And the only, the only way we're getting uh, saddles is from this thing right now. It's the only way we can really do it, but we need bait. And for that, we need vegetables to turn into things. So we're about to just like... give that a rest for now and we're just gonna get a bunch of veggies Salmon in anything? Uh, grilled salmon meal. Oh, that I think that's new and a newer version of uh, Farmer's Delight in that case, because you can make cooked salmon slice. Ooh, mm. and then you can use that to make grilled salmon. Huh. I'll keep that in mind. So if we're going to be fishing to try to get these uh, saddles, we're going to get a decent amount of actual fish from it. Yeah, that's a pretty good conversion rate there for, uh, for... For things. Oh, 
I like how her, her bed is just levitating. There we go. It's no longer levitating, it's on solid ground. And we are no longer like just in mid-air when we, like it, it was putting us up, up here, which is a little precarious, to say the least. I figure if we can get another saddle, it'll let us make a, a backpack, which will let us uh, more easily tr uh, collect stuff in the next place. Which, we're not really that far from being able to go to. Like, I'm just kind of doing this stuff. Because after going there without a backpack, my inventory got really full from going into one of the dungeons. And it would have been nice to have more storage, so... I'm trying to do that, do it right this time. And honestly, I was expecting this worm, uh, this worm bin thing to be like something that works really slowly, but no, it's it just shits out the worms. Like these worms really love love carrots. Mmm. Like how many worms are even left in this one? I mean, it's using them, but. There we go. Well, that's the saddle we need. We're at the very least going to get one more um, leather from it, so that's going to get us the... Fair enough. Alright. Backpack. Four string, a chest, and four string, a chest, and some leather. Pretty doable. If I had wood on my person here, that'd be even easier. How big is this? Um, three slots? That's like three, that's like an extra like inventory. That's actually pretty good. Is there like a tier two or something of this? Uh, let's see. There is, it's the iron backpack, which we're not gonna have, be able to do yet. It's a weird color. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna start doing preparations to get to the under garden. Now that we've gotten that figured out, so let's go back to create. We need a mechanical mixer, which means we need. That, that, and this, which is that, so. Why is there a f what? Why is there a fish there? Where did the fish come from? What? <laughs> free fish. Thank, thank you, thank you, son. The sun, the sun offered me a free fish in this trying time, or or some shit. I have no idea. <laughs> It must, yeah, it must, you're right. It must have just jumped up here. Uh, obviously. <laughs> where, where else would it be? Or where else would it come from? Alright, we need some more andesite. And we need some more grout. Well, thank 
you. It's, st it's still my old design where I had two eyes. I haven't really gotten around to, like, making it more aligned with my new, um, condition. <laughs> of being a- of my new- my new state of being, rather. Like, I'll probably add, like, I'll probably add, like, the chest seam to it. My, 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 my two eyes merge to become one mega eye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's get these made. I need five of these. You know, there's ways we can automate this even more, but that would involve effort, and I'm not putting that effort in right this second. Okay. Woo. The we got the whisk. Ah, oh, whisk. Okay, and that we got the whisk. We need one little co one little cog wheel. Cog wheel acquired, and then we'll use whisk, and we can just probably shove that right there. Yep. And then we need a basin, which means we need like. Excuse you, what? Are these fish just spawning here? Uh, hello. Why, why are you here? Uh, you sound like you're struggling. You know what? <laughs> I'll, 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 you, you look like you're, you're struggling, but also enjoying life. So, I guess I just have fish in my water wheel. <laughs> I was wondering where this tropical fish came from. Well, it jumped up here, so I'm gonna send it back. Wee! It jumped really far that time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No! <laughs> no! There it goes! It's gone! Okay, so we need like eight more of these. Wait, what am I. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a one brick per so I need a grand a total of four because I can't count I never learnt my numbers oh wait no I, I already have enough in there because I need four more I think yeah yeah numbers I, I was I was I was I was wondering where the where the damn fish came from and I got my answer it came from the water it, that's making my water wheel work <laughs> that's that's silly and I bullied this fish into submission because I think it's just kind of swimming just kind of swimming around now Hmm. If I had a if I had a bucket, I could um, capture it in water. Okay, I made that. Okay, we'll be able to throw stuff in there. All right. Blank tokens are used to create other tokens, which allow you to travel to other dimensions. That's why I need a bone. I was trying to remember why I needed a bone. That's why I needed one. So let's take three flints, put that in there, and we'll go get one of our bones. We do have more than one bone, so we can save that for a later day when we need to make more bones or need bones for something specific. Subfishing. <laughs> get him. Got him. It's doing like a, it did like a kick flip off the freaking wheel there. Ok, 
can't really see what water situation in there looks like. Alright. Okay, blank token. Cobble deep slate. We need to make some of that, which means it is mixed with cobblestone and put me in the basin. Put me in dock. Ugh. <laughs> Just put you in there and let you get smashed into bits by the big whisk. Turn me into dough. <laughs> Just grind my bones to make bread. What's up, grind squad? Gotta go, gotta get up and get this bread! <laughs> Alright, we need some cobblestone. So let's... We need... I think we need like 14 of this to make the... The, the undergarden... Uh, deep slate thing. So we need like 14 cobblestone, so let's let's get to let's get to mining and crafting. probably gonna be a little wasteful but I don't care we'll just cook one of these because we need to make like exactly like one more uh, andesite thingy so we'll let that go and then that will melt into this pour that there That, that, we got a stone cutter. Very useful for what we're about to do. Just gonna put it right there, I guess. Okay, crush up the cobble. And then that needs to go, we're, we're gonna put them in the mixer. <clears throat> I like a little particles flying everywhere. All right, couple deep slates, polished deep slate. bricks and we can turn use this thing to turn all the other ones just in, into bricks anyway <clears throat> all right yep and then we need to make this thing which means it's another one which means you need another cobblestone sir there was a second cobblestone Into the into the basin you go, naughty cobblestone. <clears throat> Wait, am I? Oh, it's a brick. Okay, I was like, my like, I literally just looked at that. Am I high? And the answer is yes, we're really high up, but <laughs> otherwise, no, I'm not that high. Okay, yeah, it is a brick. Alright. 
Okay. And then get that and now we're just gonna f this it's gonna sound weird me saying this, but this portal we're about to make makes like airplane noises. So I don't know if I want to put it anywhere really I mean I'm probably gonna fucking hear it anyway, so I'll just probably put it over here. Like it makes like legitimately like airplane noises. You'll you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> Okay, and then we just kind of... I told you, it makes airplane noises. Literally. <laughs> Why does the portal make airplane noises? So I don't know if we need this with us. Oh, we had to craft this to, to let us travel, I guess. We're going to want to make something before we go in first. It's like a, uh, a furnace or something, uh, a compass, like a uh, structure's compass. Yeah, 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 yeah. That will let us uh, get some logs, and we need that, which means we need four more alloy. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Because if we don't make this structure thing compass first, and we just go wandering around in there, we'll just be fucking lost forever. Because there's just a lot going on in there. <clears throat> I do want to make, like, all the stuff into torches, though. Because, yeah, we want, uh... We want torches. <clears throat> gonna make a crafting table for in there as well or rather a uh, a uh, crafting station just because it's better <clears throat> okay place that in there and then I need food for now we'll take the salmon we'll take the cod with us unless the cod makes better food than the salmon does <clears throat> you can get cod slices, which aren't really useful. So yeah, we'll just eat the cod. All right, let's <clears throat> get in here and find out how fucked we are. Cause when I first, when I, when my other fire when I spawned in this place, it put me on top of a big ass tree. <laughs> oh, we're in the snow. Well, this is kind of cool. Yeah, this place is pretty sweet. I'm quite a fan. Packed ice. Just a big underground lake. Some shimmer weeds. Yeah, the place I spawned in last time was not snowy. It was kind of like a wasteland kind of deal. However, this depth rock is exactly what we need. 
then these uh, etheric shards too, because you can turn those. You can melt those down into lava, which is which is nice. Ink mushroom. Those are pretty cool. All right, where are the fucked up dudes at? There's like some really like gross looking red dudes that I've seen in the past. Well, this isn't the guy, but this, these guys are kind of cool too. Ah, there you are, you fucking weirdo. Come here. Glad you're in there. Ooh, we got some clog room. That's what we want, because then we can make some armor out of that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we're, we're about, our first trip here is mostly going to be looking for clog room so we can, uh, Make some armor to not get our shit pushed in nearly as bad, because stuff here can hit pretty hard. Before I get too carried away, though, let's get back to our portal and set a waypoint so I can get back pretty easily. What do we have here? Oh, that's the goo. It's gooing on me. There's a ink mushroom. All right, let's press B, we'll do portal. It gets something like white, so it's a little easier to see. Okay. Oh, there's another fucked up dude up there. Hey, fucked up dude. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Don't want to fuck with that guy. That guy hits like a truck. <clears throat> we can't cheese him though. If it comes to it, we can uh, make like a little structure where he can't get to us. Like something like. So we could technically go, we could technically probably fight this dude, but I probably shouldn't yet. Let's kind of clear up some of this area a little bit so he doesn't get stuck anywhere weird. Good old cheesing game mechanics for our own benefit. Because the lanky dudes that we were fighting, that we fought, that was he, the guy that was like in the in the floor or whatever, they um, cannot fit through two high block spaces. So we can use th that to our advantage to just kind of cheat them and beat them, cheat them and beat them. I could just go get some more blocks instead of just kind of scrounging around with stuff. Forget the sky. I want to live here. This place is cool. There's plenty of stuff you can do in here. Well, there's at least some stuff you can do in here. I don't know about plenty, but there's dungeons you can go into. There's, like, cool monsters. <clears throat> All right, well, is that dude still there? A big dude? I could have swore there was one. Maybe he... Maybe he gave up. Maybe he despawned. I don't see him anymore. I might have went far enough away and he despawned. Fine by me. They're kind of a pain. <clears throat> There's some coal. Don't really need it, but kind of nice to have. 
Oh, I must have been t just a little too far away. Okay, that gets us a lot of uh, these this rock to use as like little fortifications. We got a portal there, so we can get back. But um, oh, these guys are cool. These guys are like kind of like iron golems and like villagers combined together. What's up, dude? They they sound really f freaky too when they talk. Come on. There he goes, you freak. <laughs> and under beans. Beans, beans, be glorious beans. We, you can plant the beans and grow the beans really fast, and they're actually when the when you cook them, they're about as good as bread. So they're just really nice. Okay, so there's another guy down there. I'm, I still want to find the um, the arm the stuff to make the armor before I leave. And this like. Uh, let's see, Forgotten Field is probably the safest biome to be down here, because, well, these dudes are around here, and, like, they'll fight the dude, the other guys, so it's just a case of looking for, there's some up there, let's see if we can get up there. I, mean, I can get up there, it's just a matter of, do I want to, and the answer is, this time, yes. And where was that, it's there, I was a little, a little off base. Oh, the stuff I placed when I broke this stuff got me some of those shard things. Interesting. Yeah, this place is really well made. Music's, music's funky. Just look up and around and see if we can find any more of that uh, claw room because that's roughly equivalent to iron and defensive power, which is good because we're gonna need some armor. I mean, not like need, but it's it would be nice to have. Grab some EU too, because we can we can grow these mushrooms in the uh, the bonsai pot things that we're using for trees. As well. Unfortunately, no goodies. Oh, never mind. I literally walked right by some. By some, I mean like one, I guess. <laughs> Gloom gourds. They're like purple pumpkins. <laughs> Ooh, this is a proper cave. We got even like glowing cave berries. That's pretty sweet. Droop fruit. <laughs> That's a silly name. Yeah, this place is awesome. I like it. I don't like that. It's probably around the corner. Oh no! Oh no! How unfortunate for you. <gasps> Uh, 
Ooh, is this like just a big cavern? That's cool as hell. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so. Ooh. Oh. This place is kind of like the nether, except it's like full of like plants and shit. And honestly, I can dig, I can deal with that. I can dig that. Alright, let's see if I can mash, let's make these stone paxels like now kith. Okay, not yet, that there's a little bit, there'll be a little bit of wasted durability and... Granted, all this, all this green stone around us we can use to make more stone tools out of, so that's nice. We can make just a, a few more of these paxel things. I just don't want to miss any uh, of the clogrum. If I can avoid it. Excuse me? Oh, Alright, I mean... I mean, I won't say no. Just like why? I'm mostly like why is this here? Oh God! I, that I do not want to fight. They are very fast, and they will just they they do enough damage to be dangerous, and they're fast and just not fun. I will I will avoid those if possible until I get armor that is and then they are not really that that scary but until then I'll be a little bitch and run away <laughs> they also just sound very unpleasant how much do I have I have enough to make a full set of armor now but I'll just finish checking out this like shaft area or whatever this like cave well it Kind of ends here. Okay. Oh, I want those back, please. Thank you. <laughs> I was so busy stuffing my face with cod that <laughs> I was just placing torches everywhere. Yeah, you don't want to touch this stuff. It's purple, but it's not nice purple. Oh, it's a dude. <laughs> not the good kind of purple. Ah, yes, yeah, so we have four of these mob essences. We'll use that to make more bones, because... Bones are the one thing I do not want to run out of, because because of how weird the spawning stuff is for my little... My shit creation that I tried making. Like, I would rather have... Um, I would rather have... Uh, use that to make bones. As a matter of fact, I'll show that off now because I was I was I've been talking about like this whole time. Yeah, we can uh hmm. we could also use it on leather, but that's for later. <laughs> Glooper legs. Uh, yeah, we'll do this some bones. We can turn one bone into five. Nice. Put this other crap away there. Under beans, we can use those to just get a bunch of easy food really quick. Again, let's look at Gloomper legs is what they call me in high school. Oh no! <laughs> Let's see, what about potato, baked potatoes? How much do they do? 
looks like three saturation compared to um Yeah, three set three hunger shanks compared to bread, which is also three. Hmm. That seems complex. Can I use this droop fruit? Yo, droop fruit! Get your ass over here, droop fruit! <laughs> Under bean. Okay, the underbeans are technically worse than potatoes. What about carrots? Out of curiosity, I'm gonna break all this stuff. Because I guess I, I, when I was breaking some of this, when I was doing like the nerd polling stuff in that one place, I got these uh, red shard things, and I'm just curious to see if I can just kind of get those whenever I break this, because I could just do that to grind up lava pretty easily. And, well, let's find out. Oh, it does work that way. But I think some of the stone gets turned into um, the shards, which is fine because, yeah, that's much better. That's a much. These shards are much more valuable than this uh, rock. While we're at it, though, let's get, where is it, clay. Get 10 of that, and we'll, yep. do that. And then when we can make, um, we can grow over here, we can grow more shit. We can grow these, uh, these ink mushrooms. So we need, we need mushrooms to make the um, next kind of water. Like we have this orange water here, but we can make the water that comes from the under garden, which lets you turn things to things from that place, which can be useful in its own way. But for that, we're going to need mushrooms, and so we're going to grow these ink mushrooms here. And we'll start smelling this clogram as well. Okay, get those. Let's put them. I don't know. <laughs> Over here. Like, I'm not gonna worry. Do this kind of crap with them because they'll just kind of. They take a while to kind of do what they do anyway, so it's not gonna be the end of the world to just have that happen and. We will make a uh, axe specifically for each of these, though, because well, I'll keep them going for a long time. Okay, so axe one two. One, two, one, two. Okay, and then that'll just make more mushrooms. Not all the time, but enough of the time for it to be worth it. <laughs> and just as far as, let's see what the fishing thing he's gotten me so far, because, okay, I got another saddle out of it, and a, a bunch of cod, 
trying to use cod for anything like looks like raw cod can make a cod deluxe Ooh, we can make cabbage rolls interesting uh, fish stew hmm that takes, that takes tomato sauce cabbage cod surprise that doesn't sound appetizing uh, squid ink pasta okay you can also make a c cod slices, which can be used instead of cod, so you can basically double up on your cod. Big cod stew. What we get? Hmm. Interesting. Well, for now, I'm fine just eating cod. So let's grab those cod fishes and we'll 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 smoke them up. There's like 10 different things I need to be doing right this very second, so I'm just trying to latch on to at least one of them. That's one of them. Uh, I need stone. Okay, and then we need logs. Because the structures uh, thing will help us find <clears throat> the dungeon that I'm wanting to do. Okay, we'll craft up some armor. Cover me in co copper lights. Oh, uh, it's poop! That yeah, looks pretty okay as far as Minecraft armor goes. Can't really complain. It's, be it's better than what I had, which was literally nothing, so. And now I can smash these together. make another backup one all right let's see yep large catacombs that's where we're going that's where we're going next Hello Jedi, thank you so much for the raid. Hope your stream went well. Hope you're doing well. What were you doing? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? <laughs> something something Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, hello Jedi. We're no longer playing the caveman mod pack. We're playing one in the sky where we're going to like this like underground like plant place now. To get some stuff and I'm just kind of preparing for that mentally and physically getting some fish to eat for foods we'll probably end up finding better food in the dungeon but this other food will probably do us good <laughs> I don't I do not know where I'm going though so I can't answer that hey that's okay <laughs> In the game Pokemon stuff, yeah, I've I've not quite finished it myself, mostly just because I don't have a lot of time to just play. So if I would be playing more of it, it'd be probably me streaming it, unless I have some time to play it like tomorrow or like when or Thursday or Friday or something like that. So I'm I'm not quite done with it myself either. Uh, let's make another chest specifically for the stuff from this other realm that we just uh, got to. We'll kind of put a chest like over here. 
but like this kind of like stuff from there. <clears throat> Let's see, like that goes from the that's from there. Uh, what else? The beans. The coal is to. Uh, Hmm. Nah, all right, well. All right, in we go. This place is cool. Well, uh, that, not, not pun intended, surprisingly, but like this place in general is cool. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't thinking very well whenever I said that. I forgot that we spawned in like a snowy kind of area. All right, so now we're looking for a catacombs. One, there's not one very far away. So let's go find it. I'm not a fan of this shimmer stone stuff because it's kind of slippery. The little snail guys are pretty cool though. a deep hole. I wanted to get some more um, of this uh, rock. Hmm. I wonder if maybe going underneath the mountain is not a good idea. I was trying to reach and grab the vine. I think I could technically grab these berries and extend the vine. Yeah. I could technically use that to get up there, but that seems like it'd be a silly a silly idea when I could probably just get up there like this with some of the up oh, I just destroyed that flower in cold blood This place is kind of like the nether. It's structured very similarly, but it's all like planty and stuff. Oh, hello, dude. Stoneborn guys are, guys are pretty cool. There's beans everywhere. Oh, yeah, there's lots of those... Uh, red dudes over here. This is just water, so we should be fine to go through it. Okay, we're like 70 blocks away from the dungeon. Like 30 now. And we gotta get down, it looks like. It? I might have. Well, where's the where's the entrance? Hmm. Maybe the entrance is down here or something. 
The last one I found was like kind of partially covered in water, so it was kind of like awkward to get around and into. Well, let's get some. Well, I guess we kind of found it, maybe. I don't know. It seems it's supposed to be here, roughly. Let's eat some fish. Mmm. So just kind of wander around till I find it because it's definitely supposed to be here. Well, I guess I'll grab this while I'm here. I mean, it'd be silly not to. Do not like the sound of you. I have a feeling this dungeon is like, the entrance is like way up top. That's what it feels like at least, so. I guess we're climbing some mountain, huh? That's why I checked up here and just didn't find it, but maybe I was uh, misguided. Oh, there's a big dude up here. We're going to have to hopefully not get clobbered by him. He's swimming. Dumbass. <laughs> hmm. It says there's supposed to be a catacombs here. But I cannot see it anywhere. The entrance is fairly distinct, too, because I remember finding one on the other file I play-tested this game, this this mod pack with, and it it looks just a little distinct, and I'm not seeing it. I might also just be blind, though. Oh! Oh! I'm also about, gonna, about to be fucking dead if I don't get out of here. <laughs> Big dude aggroed on me. Let them fight. Help! <laughs> I'm not very mighty. Are they fighting? You winning, son? Yeah, you won. Not by much, but you did. 
Man, where the hell is this entrance? It's really dark in general, so it's kind of just hard to see anything. Let alone where the entrance to this place would be. Unless it's like further down somewhere, then I'm... Like, is there like an underneath area to this? That I'm just not seeing? I'm pretty sure this is the area I was in. Hmm. Yeah, the generation of this catacomb seems a little, a little scuffed. I definitely hear stuff. It's a matter of like, where is, where is it? This way, maybe? It's, I don't know where this place is supposed to be because there's nothing here. Unless it's like up there. To this point, I guess we could try to figure that out. Mm. Okay, there's nothing here. There's, there's enemies somewhere. I don't know where, but... Oh, it's that dude. That dude's here. Um, let's avoid that dude. If at all possible. Just because I can't find this place, and this compass is literally supposed to... It's gross. This compass... Oh, God! I hate them <laughs> with the extreme, extreme hatred. Birth control, God. Where is this place? at a loss like where is the entrance is it up is it up <laughs> oh let's just search for it I mean it's uh, x96 I guess let's try to get to that although I, I'm almost certain I was already there I do not like how those sound. Alright, big boy. Big Chungus.
Yeah, I, I have a feeling this place is a little jacked up. Like, this didn't generate a thing here. Hmm. Which is rather un rather unfortunate. <clears throat> hmm. Considering when I used one in the last map I was playing on, it led me literally right to one, so don't really know what to really do with this information. Only other thing I can really think of is just kind of roam around and see if I could find one on my own. Which, I mean, I'm not against that. It's just kind of annoying that this compass just kind of led me astray. A lot of these big mushrooms. Is there a reason for that? I mean, it might just be like a biome where there's just a lot of these mushrooms. Gross. A mushroom. Ooh. And maybe I don't want to be in this place. Yeah, it's still, it's still identifying that one place that doesn't exist as the closest one, so... That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to, like, run around and try to find one. You sound weird. Mostly just looking around trying to see if I can find another one of these places. Because the game decided to make thing make like like make life difficult for me. Oh, I found a different one somewhere. Let's head towards that one instead. Ooh, that's a hell of a drop. A little farther away than I'd prefer it to be, but hey, if I find one, that's all that really matters, because we can grind up a bunch of these... Uh, uh, shard things in there like these uh, these Derek shards because enemies drop them and there's monster spawners in there so that'd be that'd be nice Jesus Christ, they still took damage anyway. Oh. 
perish. Are you serious? Did the entrances just not generate this time, or are they just really far down in the world? It says 48, and I'm at 60, so I probably need to get down into somewhere. That's annoying. Well, I guess let's see if we can find a cave or something. Yep, hop, 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 hop. Hop and pop. Hop and pop. Huh? As good of a lead as any. <laughs> hey, Achiko. Let's see. I'm trying to find this dungeon place, but it's proving a little harder than... I expected it wasn't nearly this difficult when I was playing this on my own <laughs> hmm Let's see, we're at 48. It says that. Hmm. Screw, we're just gonna dig through the, the solid earth. I don't even care at this point. I need this rock stuff anyway. Interesting. Mostly trying to get this at this point. Because it's not useful now, but later we can convert this stuff to iron, which would be more useful then as iron than as what it is now. So. Like, I'm gonna be on, like, the exact height and see if this thing is where it's supposed to be at, according to this, because... I'm a little annoyed, because this compass is just supposed to lead you to the structure you search for, which is the catacomb, and I'm just not finding it. Fish. 
Hey, this is the mining part of Minecraft. You're you're mining and crafting. And these two paxels together. I guess while we're, since we're digging through this, we're also getting some of these uh, shard things that we want. Because we can turn those to lava, but we can also combine them together to make bigger shards that we can use to make other things that we'll need. So, not the worst thing, we're just kind of digging through the solid earth. Alright, so. Alright, so now we gotta go this way. Like 40 something blocks. I mean, I hear flowing water, so there maybe there's something nearby. I mean, if I don't end up finding this where it's supposed to be, like, literally the exact height, then, you know, I'll be a little frustrated, but, you know, whatever. At least I got all this stuff that I probably need. Oh, this depth rock. It would just make it a lot easier to get these etheric shards, too, because the monsters drop, like, drop them fairly frequently. And the catacomb dungeons have spawners, so you can just, like, Okay, it's clearly not fucking here. Oh, oh, alright. Well, I ain't got anything better to fucking do. Let's swim up here, I guess. <laughs> well, that's frustrating. Let's head back to our portal and try searching. Try to see if we can find a different one. Hello, dude. Big dude. I have no idea where that, that these ones are supposed to be, because they just. Didn't, doesn't seem like he spawned in. Unless I'm like interpreting this like compass thing wrong, which is very possible. Okay, I'm just like in a fucking cave. <laughs> Let's get out of the fucking cave.
old dudes in the kitchen. Oh, I hate you. Gross. <laughs> Is there a way out of this shitty cave? Will I be forced to to live like a golem off of like mine of eyeless fucking lake fish for the rest of my days? Or I guess in this case, weird berries. <laughs> I'm sure I can just get out from somewhere. My leg. My leggies! That's okay, I need to get through the cod anyway. It's kind of worse than the salmon is. Alright, let's get from underneath this just area here. <clears throat> What do we have here? Wigglewood. <laughs> I guess I'll try searching for this other place again since I'm kind of heading back that way anyway. Unless that 240 means like, oh, gross. Unless that 240 means height, which if that's the case, that means that shit's way up there, which I mean, uh, gross. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're duking it out. I'm gonna let them uh, just duke it out. Oh, hey, that dude must, looks like he won. That was unexpected. What is that noise? Oh, that's the music. I was like, what is that noise? It's like drone core music or some shit. Oh, oh, I tried cat I tried catching the vine. I didn't exactly make it.
Let's see. Just trying to figure out how this position shit works for, uh... Okay, 90, 96 is the uh, north value. Two forty looks like it's the uh, X value. As far as the Z value, I have no idea. I guess it typically doesn't matter, but in this case, it might because I just can't find the damn thing at this point when go trying to get there. So I might have to go up higher. just falling everywhere. I guess we're going mountain climbing. Come here, nasty. Sucks to suck. <laughs> nasty little bird child. not very pleasant yourself either. I need to stop and make a, but a replacement tool here. Or f a few of them, maybe. <clears throat> make a few more like that. Let's make, get some more sticks. And I probably need to get up there if I'm going to find this dungeon place. Oh, looks like I found our way to get up there. Up here, like a stinky little fish. Oh, well, speaking of stinky, God, I hate those. Hey Ash, Where's, I'm trying to find this dungeon if it's the last fucking thing I do. 
because trying to get to this place has proven to be difficult. Because I went to the, like, I followed this compass thing which have led me right to it, but it's just, um, not, where, not here. <laughs> so I'm just like, it must be higher up, so I'm trying to, like, climb through this fucking place. The only thing I think of is that maybe it's just really high up and this compass doesn't have any real way to saying where it is. This place is cool, it's just a little it's a little uh danger a little dangerous. Like these guys are groany and zombie like. kind of dark in here too just everywhere hmm. oh hello <laughs> I don't like those. Destroy. Kill the child. <laughs> yeah, the problem is I don't know what my the Y value is supposed to be at for this place. Like... Pretty high up. But it's just, you know, not fucking here. And I'm confused, which means it's it might be really far down, but I just have no idea how to find it. <laughs> no, I'm just a little annoyed. Just a teensy bit annoyed. Ah. Yep. My my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Come here, gross child. They're so fast. <laughs> so it's not high up. So my only other option at that point is it is it is it low, really low down? But I already tried that, so I just don't really know. So. To my knowledge, you don't really need to go to one of those places, like one of the catacombs, because, like, one of the main draws there would be the uh, Regalium crystals, but we can get those from trading with these guys if we have something they want. Hit this guy. He wants a block of Ethereum. We could probably get that. Yes, we can just get that, and that will get that will get us that. We technically don't have to go to the dungeon anymore. I will kill more of these guys though.
would have been nice to go to one of those dungeons and get, like, the, uh... And find a spawner for those, like, Rotwalker guys, because they're just really easy to kill, and a spawner would just make them really easy to farm for these things and these things, and, you know. It just would have been nice, but, like, the game seems, um, like, set, has its mind set that I'm not going to find one of those. <laughs> so, it's whatever. I'm about to stop stream after we get back to, um, oh, oh, yep, don't want to touch that, I just kind of wasn't really paying attention. Um, where's my fucking portal back? Um, is it further down? It might be further down. I'm like, excuse me, where? I mean, I am pretty high up, so yeah, it's probably on a lower layer of this fucking shithole. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a bit higher up than I uh, remember being. Well, we did find a current to a different one, so maybe we can just finally find one and come back to it. The music in this place is really good. I do need to be cautious because I don't have any other food other than the salmon. So I'm gonna have to try to find some of those beans and like twerk, twerk some beans. Uh, beans, my beloved. Solve that food problem real quick. These guys are supposed to fight them. I think these guys will get can get attacked by the, oh jeez. Well, if we need to get down somewhere, that's, that's how we're gonna do it, I guess. Okay, fuck it, ooh ball. Wee! Fuck it, we ball. to see the surface of the water.
I guess we can see if this place is, um... I don't know if y'all are friendly or not, so let's, uh... Let's just think you aren't. Well, you're kind of following me. Oh, yeah, you're not friendly. Fucking asshole catfish. Come here. You're not very fast. Ow. You have a long ass attack range is what you have. Well, y'all just aren't really worth my time at all. Oh. Back in the water. <laughs> I am now a water dwelling species. Water bean. Oh, okay, we found one that actually generated properly. This is what they look like. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this stream here and at when we start to stream back up we'll go into this place after cooking some beans. <laughs> okay, thanks Windows Defender. So we're gonna end we're gonna stop here. And it's a little past when I was gonna do dinner stuff with my the roomie. So I'm gonna go make sure things are doing alright, so I'm gonna end this stream here. But thank y'all so much for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for keeping me company. Uh, let me see. I'm going to see who's on. A little twitcheroo here. Uh, looks like a few people. Uh, ooh, looks like uh, your dad, the Squid's playing some Elden Ring. I haven't, I haven't seen them in a bit. So let's go take, let's go give them a shout. So I'm gonna end my stream. I'm gonna pay a visit to your dad, the Squid. It's a great name, by the way. <laughs> so I and I'll be back later to finish more streaming. <laughs> so I'll stop this stream and we'll be rating your dad, the Squid. See you there.